Mrs. Play. Hello, spouse. A longer time ago. <laughs> yes, it was a longer time ago. In a galaxy equidistant to the galaxy far, far away. That's that's important. Yes, yeah, that's very important. Welcome, everyone, to the Wrong Button Podcast, the show where we talk all things nerd, most things video games, a surprising amount of Star Wars and One Piece. But today we're back with One Piece because, Mrs. Play, we we watched The Acolyte. We, we did that. But only once. We've only watched the show in its entirety once through. Yes. But we, we did watch it, yes. Um, this is... Oh. This is going to be a tough one, guys, because no, at no point do I, we want to sit here and necessarily um, shit on the show. Because the show has a lot, of, a lot of really good things going for it, in my opinion. Um, I will constantly refer to the writing being very poor in this show. And I don't just mean... I hate sand, it's dry, it's scratchy, it's itchy, whatever, it gets everywhere. Like, I'm not, I'm not talking about, okay, the guy sounds like a dork saying it. I'm, when I refer to the writing, I'm going to be referring to the execution. Uh, because I think that is the main point where the show flopped. Other than that, the show has a lot of great things going for it. Uh, that I thought were genuinely really interesting. And I was like, oh, I'm excited to see how you're going to tackle this. Um, or at least open the door for somebody else to come in and say, hey, here's here's a book that, that tackles the themes very well. Um, might as well, I guess we're going to start at the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, so episode one, I've got the episode list pulled up right here. Um, episode one, Lost and Found. Uh, I thought... God, I thought that was such a really I, I everything about like the first two episodes. I loved that it was like lost and found revenge and justice. Like we're mm -hmm. going to juxtaposition yeah. something yeah. to try to tell you a story mm -hmm. uh, just in that. Um, I know your biggest issue with the first episode was fire in space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was like I'm willing to believe in space lasers and the force. But not fire in space. You know, I'm like, I'll, put I'll, it out. I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? I'm like, the, clearly this is I, when 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 we were first like on the outside of the ship trying to put out this fire. I thought it was a simulation because surely we all acknowledge by now there is no oxygen in space. Space is a vacuum. Therefore, without oxygen, there can be no flame. I cannot wait for what camera. Like that's in. that that was like I'm sorry. I have I have a complaint. I have a complaint. So I was. Uh, I, can, I can suspend many other beliefs, most of them actually, but not that one. I, I was. Um, it, so it's, it's funny that you say that. So like after the fire in space, I went back and I was like, oh, shit. But wait, that happened in episode one. Episode one, they show like electrical sparks, which mm -hmm. theoretically could happen. Sure. Um, and they show a few other things, but you're right. I don't think they, sh or they show like an open flame from the panel, mm -hmm. but it immediately like fizzles out. Yeah. Um, cause there's no, cause there's oxygen, no oxygen in space <laughs> or it'll be like, there's an explosion. Like, poof, like in theory, that could be the oxygen from the ship. Yeah. Exploding. And then it's just like instant combustion, instant gone. So sure. Like I, I, I'm good with those, but not I'm like may, may, maybe there's oxygen in that one spot. I don't know. I don't want to get fixated on that too much. It was it was it was just like guys. Guys. Not okay. Anyway. Um, but the yeah, the first episode uh being one opening up with that amazing fight scene uh between Carrie Ann Moss, who played um uh, I have everything pulled Indara. up. Indara. Right Master Indara mm -hmm. and a mysterious assassin. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was I was here. It, it like, was it was the Matrix. It was the Matrix, but Carrie Ann Trinity was wearing Jedi robes. Jedi robes, yeah. And Fuck it, like, I'm here for a that. A Jedi doesn't draw their weapon unless they tend to kill it. Yes, you do. And I'm like, oh, intriguing. What happened? What happened? <laughs> How did we arrive here? Like, if you're if you're making those sort of claims, I'm like, yes, you do. I'm like, what do you know that I don't know yet? <laughs> Go on. You ha like you have my curiosity. Now you have my attention. And it. <sighs> I, yeah, I thought it was, uh, it was really pretty. It was, it was very, for those of you guys who don't know, Mrs. Play guess this ad nauseum. I am a very big Kung Fu fan. So the Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Jet Li's the one hero. Mm -hmm. 
I loved that. And then I, I actually really adored how she was defeated. Um, mm -hmm. Because it was like Carrie Ann Moss like, clearly outclassed this person. Yeah, this, this, she was the better fighter. And we saw the other person had the force. And it was like, okay, it's another force wielder, but there, there, was, there was a class difference. Mm -hmm. And it was like, no, you don't stack up in any way to her. So you you used vulnerabilities that the Jedi would have in order to kill her. And then you got away. I, I just thought it was really good. I loved how it was done. I loved the reveal of like, oh my God, something's, you know, something's here. What happened? And then, you know, we go to a ship where we see somebody who looks just like the assailant that Carrie and Moss recognized from her past. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, she is a mech neck. Uh, and this leads us to Osha. Um, who I, the, the irony was not lost on me that she was doing a job that was outlawed. And her name is Osha. Her name like, is Osha. As her name is Osha, like the violations. Mm -hmm. Um, one of my coworkers, uh, will send me from the final episode, does the name Osha mean anything to you? Mm -hmm. And it'll be like, when you ask me to do something on the job site, <laughs> she just goes, does the name Osha mean anything to you? <clears throat> But yes, um, so uh, I know you said like uh, it, it's hard getting through the show in, in so many points because of how like the writing was done. But for you, this was your this was your first foray other than me telling you about it into the Jedi aren't good guys. Yeah, I'm trying to find that opening dialogue text right now. Like, I'm over here being quiet, scrolling desperately on my phone, trying to find the entirety of the text. Because it was, like... For, like, for hundreds of years, the Jedi... Like, like, we've known peace. Oh, you're talking about... Like that, that opening... The screen crawl in yeah, the very beginning. Yeah, And it's like, they're the, the, the Jedi use the Force, but there are others who are not allowed to use the force. Can you, can you please find the text. Yep, I got it right here. Give me one second. Yeah. I'll just wait for the commercial to end. Yeah, like I'm fucking struggling. Yeah. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. So I'm glad you, you are bringing this up because I wasn't going to let like move past episode one without addressing like the first 15 seconds of the show. Yeah, so it, it goes 100 years before the rise of the Empire. It is a time of peace. The Jedi Order and the Galactic Republic have prospered for centuries without war. But in the dark corners of the galaxy, a powerful few learn to use the Force in secret. Uh, one of them, a lone assassin, risks discovery and seek to seek revenge. Okay. So what was really hitting me was like, oh, why do we have to do it in the dark corners? And it's like, oh no, like you, the the, the Jedi believe like all on, their their way of an, of interpreting and utilizing the force is like the only way this, there there is no multiple paths there is only one path and if you are trying to do something different no you're not <laughs> like you better keep that shit to yourself um and i i know you and tyler have told me like multiple times like the jedi aren't really the good guys remember like they're they're taking children and it was like it was really like the first time where it actually hit me, and I'm like, like, the, like it, I really actually internalized. I'm like, they're not good guys. <laughs> like they're they they are not above critique. And normally I'm just like rah rah Jedi, but they're the good guys, and like that's where, like their perspective is like where the movies are from. Yes, like all nine of them and rebels. And Clone Wars, like all those seasons, it's told from like a, a Jedi sympathetic point of view, predominantly. Yes. The video games were like, I've been like watching you play. I'm like, it's told from a very sympathetic Jedi point of view. And I'm like, wait, they take children. And even in some of like, like the what if series that Disney has done, it's sympathetic. Or like when we meet like baby Ahsoka using the force. It's not like, and then we're stealing this infant. Yeah, it's you just, see Plo Koon coming. It looks like a very like, we're so proud our child's going to become yeah, a Jedi. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's, it, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, this is an honorific. Like, this is like, oh, my kid is special. It's like the equivalent of like being a shaman. Like now we have to go off into like 
your Hogwarts training. I know you hate Harry Potter. No, just it, allow me that. Solid. You're gonna- and and so like I I thought it was a good thing. <laughs> not not like oh shit, they're the police. Like they 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 are policing how the force is interpreted and utilized. And here in America, we have a conflicted relationship with the police. <laughs> So that's the most dip, like diplomatic way I can say it. There is a there's a, a take right now going around the internet. So one guys, I'm gonna say, uh, as as far as my personal opinion goes, authorial intent, creator intent, does not matter in the interpretation of a specific piece of work. Uh, a lot of people are like Fahrenheit 451 is like anti-television anti this and like no fahrenheit 451 is uh sub- like just drugging yourself and going down like these rabbit holes to like numb out not have to process anything and just allow the world to function around you mm-hmm. without taking it right but if you talk to ray bradbury he'll storm out of a convention because he's or a, a symposium with college students because they don't see it the way he does i do not think that the person that created something this was my intent i don't think that matters and how you interpret it Sure, take into consideration for a view, but it doesn't matter. So, in saying that, George Lucas's big thing is the Force is love. The Force is a very Christian take mm-hmm. on on the powers of the universe and how people have it. <clears throat> and for the show, one of the things that the show does and that people have been commenting on is Disney was kind of brave to say, hey, what happens when a police officer kills somebody in the wrong? Mm-hmm. And how do they deal that with that from the inside? I'd like to read. Apparently, we don't. <laughs> we, Just we... like in America, <laughs> we protect the cops. We move them to another police station, and we lose yeah, the records. Yeah, like priests. Um, so I said, "Just like the Catholic Church, we admit no wrongdoing, and we cover that shit up." I'm Catholic, or at least I was raised Catholic. <laughs> I can say that. So that was my. That was what I took away from this. Not necessarily the police, but what happens when we let a religious institution. Uh-huh. have say on how we govern whether it's and also bristle at the thought of of being audited <laughs> oh my god yeah but just like trans- transparency breeds trust like we're fine we don't need anyone like s- snooping around if you're not a jedi you can't critique us i'm like no no because we're not jedi we have even more authority to critique you who watches the watchmen i ask of ye. yeah um, yeah so no. Fuck the police. Yeah, whether whether it's whether it's like Catholic, whether it's like the Catholic faith and how they believe Sharia law, like what happens when you allow that too much into your society, especially when people don't believe it. So if you're not a government founded on these beliefs, mm-hmm. you should never let them have a standing mm-hmm. army of space wizards. Yeah. And then the first episode like, we But we're not an army, we're diplomats. I'm like um you get all squeaky over here that's fair and so but coming to that the first episode where we meet um i was about to call him moral and that was about to be a massive insult i'm so sorry where we met yord and oh, his person and they walk into jackie so was it jackie with jackie was with him in the beginning yeah but they walk onto a ship looking for uh at this point who we know as osha uh who is a doing illegal work and they walk in and literally go hey, do you have this person here? And they're like, no, that's illegal. Why would we do that? Why would we have these mech people? And then he sits there and he reaches out his hands and goes, okay, I'm going to mind rape you to get the information. Like, oh, yeah. you don't just pull a gun when someone doesn't give you the answer you want right away? Yes, we do. This is America. This is America. Uh, it was frightening. It was, and that established- like this, this is abuse of power. That is this is abuse of power. First episode, first time we see them. Because when we see, when we see Master and Dara- I'm yeah. like, okay, why are you hunting down the Jedi? What what happened? Or is it yeah. like, they're like, we're all going to assume they're Sith. I get that. But like, okay, what's going on? What what power moves are you making to, um, to to really like to to play the game and the the yeah, hunt of what's going to happen, years. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then it's that then it, it, it's immediately like, okay, and then the next episode it's like, hey, by the way, the Jedi aren't good guys. We know she looked innocent, and in that moment she was. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Not. But we we know you see Carrie and Moss, and all of you see Trinity, and everyone's very excited. Um, the Jedi aren't the good guys. Jedi. Um, 
Yeah. Or at least like they're not above reproach. And they should not be above reproach. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I, this had me. Yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi is not here. <laughs> this had me so excited because this was like, oh, we're gonna get a whodunit mystery because mm-hmm. this person looks like the person that they got. But she's like, no, I was out with my. Or I stayed in bed last night with my crew. We're over mm-hmm. here. That was across the galaxy. Mm-hmm. Like there was enough there. I'm like, oh shit, we're gonna have a whodunit. Hey, by the way, you have a twin sister that you thought died. I'm like, God damn it. Like, you guys couldn't help but tell you immediately. Who done it and mystery? You, you noticed so quickly that the assassin had a symbol on her forehead mm-hmm. and Osha doesn't. And I'm like, but they look the same. I don't understand. Is she lying? She's playing clueless really well. When is she going to break out her moves? And you're like, no, that's not the same person. I'm like, oh, well, so glad you were paying attention. Rewind and show me the mark. Oh, yep, yep, you're right. You're right. Powers of observation. I, well done. Well done. And it, like the lost and found, it was, it, it was, it was that, that moment there where I was like, okay, we have a, I was like, we have a whodunit. Yeah. And this is where I'm saying the execution was bad, where it was like, Okay, we're gonna get a whodunit series. No. Okay. Yeah, they're, fine. They're, they're tripping over themselves in excitement to tell you the thing instead of just building dramatic tension and showing instead of literally telling instead of literally telling me. I feel like that's that's <laughs> the biggest issue throughout the entire show is all my big points are you couldn't you couldn't do anything to make like hook me. You were like you're like, hey, look. Look, here's eight, the hook. Eight seconds of... <gasps> and then they're like, here's the beef jerky that we're going to put yeah. on there to catch you. And I'm like, yeah. why are yeah. you handing it to me? We work for Peanut it. Peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we go to... Uh, and so the first one, she goes back. May goes back. We meet her old master, Master Soul. Mm-hmm. We learn that she was... Or I'm sorry, Osha goes back to the Jedi Temple. We learn that she was asked not to be a Jedi. The person who asked her not be a Jedi was the one who was just killed. And it was a like, here's your old master who let you who step still away. Still has feelings of protectiveness. Like yeah. there, there are still feelings there. And initially, like he's portrayed as the caring, soft-spoken one. Like you, you get you get Qui Gon vibes from him. Yes, his. And this does get better throughout the rest of the episode. Mm-hmm. Um, is the is you're right he's soft-spoken he's nurturing and mm-hmm. it's like okay that mm-hmm. you can almost say that fosters like too much of a connection yeah. to where someone can't stand on their own um or didn't give osha the proper like firmness of like no you need to be pushed to grow yeah um mm-hmm. and turn coddly yeah mm-hmm. and then it turns out they're like okay well we need to to go again to figure out what's going on and it's like okay well they killed this person and then where do you think they're going next? And they're going to another Jedi temple on another planet, Mm -hmm. which I think is new for, is new for you. Have, have I, we ever talked about Jedi temples on? Mike, when we played, um, uh, Jedi survivors. Yeah. Where, (laughs) thank you. You're right. You're right. (laughs) Cal, I can't remember his name. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, where they talk about going to another planet farther away. Yeah. For Jedi survivors. But he, um, like he, he, like we bounce between several different temples in those games. Oh, the, the training grounds and things like that. Yeah. yeah on Kobold. Yeah. Okay. Um, a, a lot of the times because you would have watched Clone Wars in the original trilogy, secret prequel trilogy. Mm-hmm. Like it's the Jedi temple is Coruscant. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the main the main one that I have like the most familiarity with. Yes. Yeah. So for a lot of time it was presumed like that that's it. Mm-hmm. They have like religious pilgrim like almost like Shinto level shrines you might go to on other planets. Mm-hmm. But here they talk about the Jedi are so prevalent in society that they have like the equivalent of police stations mm-hmm. in different sectors of the galaxy. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, you you call it a temple. The rest of us call it a precinct. So, and the second episode, once again, we get that duality: mm-hmm. revenge and justice. Mm-hmm. Um, where the assassin goes to hunt down um, Torben, Torben, who is apparently one of the guys from 
uh, Imagine Dragons, not Imagine Dragons. Um, House of Dragon, not House of Dragon. What's the other? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. <laughs> He's not a band member. What are you trying to say? He's not. Jesus. Um, Who is he in Game of Thrones? I don't know. Tyler says he's in Game of Thrones. Tyler can put this in here. He's so excited for us to talk about this show. Okay. Um, But he's taken like this insane vow, meditative trance of silence. Yeah, he took the Buresh vow, which Wikipedia tells me um, it's when one refrains from all Jedi Order activities as a form of penitence. Interesting. What do we have to be penitent about? Hmm. Hmm. What did you do that you feel guilty about? Anyway. And it's supposed to be like an ultimate communion with the Force. And you kind of like stay in that state until you find like your path forward. The, so, which again, very Catholic. Very Catholic. (laughs) Um, So I, I thought that that was really interesting yeah that was that was my first uh interaction really the series in general i feel like if i had read some of the high republic books i would have understood things more and better because mm-hmm. there's they're, they're stuff and i'm like i have to go look that up because i don't know what that means and may, maybe that's what the i'm more of like the average lay person maybe a little a little bit more in depth just because i have just yeah. osmosis absor- absorption from being around you and tyler and you yeah Anna. But like by and large, I'm just like I don't really know what this means. I have to go look it up. Why does this matter? Can they do that? What's this called? You could. I think you could. You might have to look it up. But yeah, you could yeah. talk it more than the like. Yeah. Oh, I, I watched. I watched the movies. Um, yep. And it was because when you saw him, like his face was fucked up. Stop. He got fucked up. And it was. It was such a good like. Okay, who is this? And I forget how they figured out that. They were going to kill him next. Him next. Um, they realized the Jedi realized that the assassin was May, and if you killed Indara, I don't remember. Uh, there were there were five Jedi stationed on that planet, uh-huh. and they were like, "So where's next?" It's I'm, like, "Well, I'm you're here." Off. Yeah, you're here. Yeah. And good luck finding uh, Kelnaka. Yeah, good luck finding the Wookiee. Yeah. So, ergo, everyone knows where Torben ended up. Odds are. Yeah. And, yeah. I But, like, when she goes in to try to kill him with a knife, and he just has, like, a force cone around him, and oh, she yeah. can't do fuck yeah. all. Eat shit. Just bouncing off like a bubble. It was comical. Like, her, how hard she's trying, and she's angry, and, like, it means nothing. <laughs> I'm like you, you, you can't touch this man. At least not physically. You're gonna, you're gonna have to become a bit more imaginative. Yeah, because um, vi- like vi- physical violence ain't gonna be the way. Also, she has the entire task of like killing without a weapon. I'm like, here you are with your throwing knives, like girlfriend, girlfriend. So, because I killing a Jedi without a weapon, and it, it just, gets touched on later, mm-hmm. where it goes like it's a lesson that you teach yourself. <clears throat> And I, I saw it as more of a metaphysical thing where it's like, of course, I could just plant a bunch of C4 and lure them into a trap and blow them to pieces. I oh, know. I thought we were like force choking someone or like literally giving them a heart attack via the force, just like wrap, wrapping my, my force energy around their heart and just squeezing. <laughs> Totally Which, thing that happens. Yeah, I know. I'm like, yeah. if I thought of it, someone's definitely written about it. Um, but and I could see it that way too. But then I could also see it or as like, like a fucking aneurysm. I'm gonna bust or give you like a burst blood vessel in your brain and give you a stroke. Oof. Or like throw a blood clot into your lungs. I with the force. I think there's a thing that like they it, it kind of comes out as like a well, why don't people just do that? It's because like when you have the force, it kind of is always there protecting you, and it gives you that like. I can sense danger, so someone can't just do it. Sure, it's the code to. No, you can't just do that. Yeah, because plot armor. Yeah, okay, it, it fine. is the fine, fine force plot armor, quote unquote. Sure, but I'm just like if if, if it's like to kill someone without a weapon, then the, your only your only solution in this universe is to like therefore use the force. Yeah. So I have to like force kill somebody. But that's what I liked in the the first episode, where it's like she could not kill Indara with all the time and weapons in the world, right there. Until yeah. she attacked yeah. the yeah. other guy, and that's what killed her. 
Yeah, because you can't split your tension. Yeah, that well. Sorry, that yeah. was me, guys. Yeah. Um, uh, the second episode, of Revenge and Justice, uh, where we also once again kind of get that play because uh, May goes back. She's helped from a stranger, mm-hmm. a cool, quirky little. Come here. Come here, uh, potion shop guy. Yeah, poisons master. And he's like, oh, I can make poisons. Like, how, how do you know our master? And uh, was the end of the first episode where we got the shot of the, the Sith with the lightsaber? You saw the red lightsaber? Yeah, yeah. And it was like a 30 you second see, thing. You see, like, not even 30 seconds. It's like five. Yeah. <laughs> you see his profile. You see a saber. And you're like, oh, scary. And then, yeah. which to me, honestly, like, oh, there's the best bait that we've had of like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, ooh. Um, bad guy say more scary helmet and but goes into Kamir and is like hey I don't know how to do this and he's like well what if you give him this poison don't worry I won't tell our master mm-hmm. and she and goes what's the one thing that you can give him and it's absolution mm-hmm. and I was like that is killing without something like she literally goes in there and says you can make this right and talks to him until she can step in he stops meditating and puts the vial in front of him. Mm-hmm. And that's that kills him. And he, t- he takes the poison. That was to me, that was the one point where it's like, OK, you you did the thing like you gave him the poison, but you didn't do the weapon. You literally he killed himself. You broke him. More. So. He was already I think broken. He wasn't you, really like you didn't break him. You, you nudged him. Yeah, you you help you helped him jump. pussy. Yeah, that was essentially it. But like <laughs> making it sound like, no, this this is your only one. I can give I can give you absolution. I can, like this is your salvation. This is the answer. You want like you you've been tormented. Aren't you tired? I can, like this is how you can make it right. Yeah, like I I'll load the gun and give it to you. You're gonna pull the trigger on your own. <laughs> and this is one of and those make make you think it's a good idea. This is one of the points where I was like, okay, the writing was so good here mm-hmm. because th- like this is one of the executed points perfectly because we don't know what happened. We know he's messed up. We know he did something wrong. He feels that he thinks he did something wrong. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and so he, he killed himself rather than confront it. Mm-hmm. And we're like, okay, shit. All yeah. right. This is, this is real. Yeah. And, uh, the episode ends with like, Oh, this, uh, Osha is going to confront May and has a stun laser. Yeah. And, and like soul and, um, Yord and Jackie try and confront May. May throws up like smoke bomb dust. <laughs> Ghosts. The fight between um, Sol and May was pretty good too. I love the choreography, like the fighting sequences here. It's I I like fighting when it looks like a dance, when it when it's like we're still trying, but just like the the give and take of energy and and movements. I really really love, and that was something that I enjoyed from the prequels when Obi Wan and Anakin were fighting. Mm-hmm. Like it just it was acrobatic. Yes, and I love that element. Um, see, I liked that was the point of like episodes four, five, and six, where mm-hmm. it wasn't quite as acrobatic because it wasn't acrobatic. He was like, "Don't." It wasn't as quite. Luke doesn't flip. Not. <laughs> I, I listen. Hear, I, <laughs> listen. I know that was really cool for like seventy-seven, but like, come on. But it was come on. That was somebody who is trained in a classic way. Yeah. With limited movement and somebody doesn't know how to do it, and that's why I liked the sequel fighting mm-hmm. because we're like, it's so messy and ugly. Who's taught them how to do this shit guys. Yeah. It's been a hot minute. They're fucking trying to figure this out. Ray fought with a stick for an episode. And then you're like, why does she keep trying to wail on him like a stick? Cause that's all she had. It's true. It's true. She's, um, she's using what she's got. Yeah. She's like, okay, this is like yeah. a stick that cuts. Got it. Um, yeah. And yeah, may gets yeah. away. Cause yeah. Osha can't shoot her. And yeah, well, what was that? Like a little stun gun? Well, yeah, it was like a stun blaster. Okay, okay. Like she knows how to use this. She was well, she trained to be a Jedi, and then like, bitch misses. It was like a taser, yeah. Yeah, and and you t- told like, you'd said something to me because I was like I was being like, I guys, I used to shoot like pre- precision shooting with like a twenty two. I I'm like oh it's twenty two, but like I was just a very expensive hole punch. I don't shoot anymore. Um, bullets are expensive. And there's really no reward. Um, but like I used to be very good. <laughs> and just just the the professionalism in me is like, how did you miss? I don't mean to get all loud, but like a little bit shrieky. I'm like, that it was she was right there. And like when you look at the black, like the radius of that shot when it goes out, it's like it's a pretty sensible cone. Like, it's not a bullet. How did you miss? And then 
you were like, well, could you shoot your sister? Like your loved one that you thought was dead for a while? And I'm like, you know what? That did shut me up. Thank you. (laughs) You're right. You're right. I would have a terribly difficult time shooting you or Kimberly after assuming you guys were like dead for like 10, 16 years. And then seeing you for the first time, also assuming that you're the bad guy. You're right. You're right. I would probably also aim wide. Fine. Yeah, I, I need I needed somebody to calibrate, so thank you for that. You're very welcome. <laughs> that calibration. Yeah. That was. Uh, but yeah, I like the fight with Soul because I know I, you like acrobatics. I do, but yeah. I also like fights like the raid, where it's those are fucking ruthless and efficient. But by the end of it, like he's like his his punches are like he's yeah, just, he, yeah he's he's tired. Two yeah. two things are done well, guys. Fights that are progression where someone gets tired, great, and fights with that are pretty. Um, and next we're gonna get to I'm gonna say is. The biggest letdown I have of the series is episode three. Um, this one is it goes from like what's, our t- what's the title of the episode? Yes, yeah, so that's what I was gonna say. The first one is like Lost and Found, Revenge, mm-hmm. Justice, Fifth, Great Duality, yep, yep, yep. Destiny. Yeah, like we completely cut off the juxtaposition, and it it was the there is no theme. It was the you know, we see young May and Osha by a tree that looks really pretty. It's like a it's like a ginkgo weeping willow in color. Mm-hmm. Um, and May wants to, or Ocean mm-hmm. wants to sit there and be by herself, but May comes to find her. Mm-hmm. And it was reminded me of like, like Spirit Tree from Avatar. Yeah. Yeah. The um, Blue People Avatar, not Last Airbender. Oh. Just to be clear. That's fair. That's okay. it. Thank no, you for being, because yeah. I was about to say. Um, Ewa. <laughs> but it gives us also this, like, this is kind of where I think some things are just comically bad because. Osha's sitting there like doodling in her notebook and like watching the spirit lunar, the force lunar, lunar moths. And then May comes up and is like, grab it. I'm going to rip their wings off yeah, this butter. And it's like, like you, you're the bad twin, obviously. It, it was, and it, it was comically bad. She's like, why do you always have to be this way? And it's like, okay, you have, you have a history of acting out and poor behavior and, and violence and what have you. And they're sitting there talking like, like this isn't I don't, what the force is supposed to be about. This is Sith activity. I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's here with us. Uh, I don't, it, it was like, I don't always want to be a twin that is like attached to you. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was, it was somebody who wasn't enjoying just like, oh, we're the same in every way and everything we have to, like all, all the just like enmeshment. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we get that. And then, you know, we get, a cloaked figure comes out to like hustle, hustle them inside. And it was, we learned it's like their mother, mother of coral. And I was like, Oh, like mother, like, you know, sister, mother, senior. Yeah. I, I just assumed like sisterhood nunnery kind of situations. And she's like, you're not safe out here. Ha blah, blah, blah. And then we see a robed figure come up and it's clearly a Jedi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, brown robes, Jedi. And I'm like, I'm like, Oh, Oh, was the Jedi like communing with her? And like that let a lot of like, Things kind of like percolate of like, mm-hmm. is he getting in there? Were they doing something? And the, they go back to the temple. Uh, they get scolded. We get uh, the, the other mother, mother, mother Anazea, Anazea, um, and it's like okay, and she's clearly the one in charge who looks really strong and powerful, telling yeah. him about like the ascension. She, ha- she has more authority. Um, telling him about the ascension tonight, and it's like, oh, this is like okay, this is gonna be really cool. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm so excited to see. Like, what are you guys doing? Um, they're like they're witches. Yeah, it was the rite of ascension. They, they have like a class thing to try to teach the kids a lesson because that didn't go well. And the kids are just fighting, and they're not really doing anything about yeah, they're not, it. They're not absorbing the lesson. Um, and it was like fighting. I wish I, I wish I'd written down the sayings, but it was like. The power of one, the power of two, the power of many. Yes. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I wish for this episode and the subsequent episode that we could have treated it more like Clone Wars, where it was like three or four episodes long. This that needed way, to be a three day episode. So that way we could have like adequately like fleshed out this culture. Yeah. And why it matters and how how being in this culture affects May and Osha's outlook. On life and like this, this is part of your formative years and this this is like where you develop your sense of self and how you interact with the world and form opinions about the world and why are we hiding from like 
it's not safe. I'm like, but you're not going to fucking tell me why it's safe. And here are these lessons. I'm like, okay, but where did you guys come from? Why are you hiding? Tell me more about your story. Who are all these other women? Um, we get the, it's alluded to that these twins are made. Yes. And like mother Coral's like, I carried them. She's like, well, I made them come from, from like mother and I'm like, how, how, yeah, it is. Like, I, I, I'm I'm curious. Like, t- tell me how this happened. This is new for me. And I'm like, is this how we get like forced diodes? Do they have to be twins? How is this? Because like this, that's just something else. And I'm like, I'm just trying to gra- grasp at the straws and little puzzle pieces of from like what. Yeah, you got like my, yeah, my, Leia. yeah, my knowledge. Yeah. of of Star Wars. I'm just like, is is this how it's all connected? Is it something else entirely? I would love to know more. We need to spend some time fleshing this out and that's the kind of cadence that we would have gotten from star wars the animated series yes. the clone wars it, it would have been like three to four episodes yeah so it might have been the same time but i also feel like they would have been you're right they would have focused on this is this is who these people are mm-hmm. this is their culture mm-hmm. and it i don't need it spoon fed to me like that like the night sisters are cool because it's like okay there's some mystery here but yeah. i understand that it's like okay it's a women dominated culture they have it's called a matriarch matriarch culture. <laughs> women dominated well matriarchal culture go on but you you have like between what we got to see from the original uh star wars uh fallen order mm-hmm. when we went there to get marin yeah, versus mm-hmm. what we saw during the clone wars a little bit during rebels like there's so much there and you're like oh there this is this is a whole thing mm-hmm. and you could give me enough tidbits this felt like it, they did a very good job at having a diverse cast, but this felt like they were trying to be like, we made two powerful women mothers and they can do that. It's like, cool. Can you, can you tell me something about them? No, they're, they're women mothers. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no yeah, shit. Yeah, what what the fuck is that? I don't care. Like, who are they? Horse lesbians. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah. And, and that was, I was just like, are you, and that was my, yeah, like I don't, I don't care that we had that. T- tell, tell me why they met. Like, t- tell me how this happened. Add, add more to their character other than forced lesbians. Also, why did Mother want? Are horns a recessive trait? I have problems. Horns are cool. I was happy to see, like, you know, night brother, night sister look. She mm-hmm. looked like Darth Maul, but a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I was like, that's so cool. N- neither one of the girls had that. A little bummed okay. by that. Okay. That's so nuanced. So small. That's, a, that's, a, that's a, such a good design choice. Um, and they go to the Ascension where Osha's like, I don't want to be a witch. May's like, but this is what we do. But there are no kids here. Like, where are the men? How does this? And everyone's like, it, it felt, this, I feel like this should have been explained to you guys. <laughs> when when a witch and a witch love each other very much. Um, we, and I, you know what? That would have been comical. But I would have been like, okay, cool. The, he, he, I would have been annoyed at how flippant that was. Here's the stork version. Uh huh. But there, there's a there's here's the kernel of truth somewhere. Sure. Yeah. And yeah, I would I, have been like, yeah. yes. Uh-huh. Um. And but it's. And this is where we get Osha. I think she says, "I want to be a Jedi," to yeah. her mom, and it's like, yeah. you guys are on the. How the fuck do you know what a Jedi is? There were just like tidbits of things but when she said that i was like oh were they like doing like well she's like i don't want to do this and then that's when um indara soul kameka torben like interrupt the ceremony and they're like oh well we we hear you're having children there are no children here and then boom look osha coming forward because stay still and don't talk or things that we can't fucking do yes (laughs) i'm like bitch don't move stay stay don't talk don't move this is um, why Ashley's the greatest video game character ever. Pretty much, and like struggle, and comes from like, oh, do you want to be a Jedi? I'm like, we don't even know what that means. Like, she doesn't even know what that means. Yeah, she doesn't even know what that means. And if the this coven of witches is saying like, no, then like, you can't just take, you can't just steal kids. I don't again, don't mean to yell, but yes, I do. Um, this once again is why the Jedi aren't the good guys, and. I'm like, oh, well, we have the right to test them you with your permission. Yeah, you can't deny us the right to test them with your permission, of course. And I'm like, so you threatened, but also like it was the, <sighs> the, the yeah. It, 
it, it, it was, it, I mean, it, it was, it felt wrong and that was by design. And I'm just like, that's fucking sleazy. And then, but, but meanwhile, um, mother and Isaiah did some sort of like mind fuckery on Torben. Like she got in his head. But, oh, we're jumping ahead. Okay, fine. So let's, we're like, sorry. The, the other main, well, point, I only watched this once. <laughs> the other main point I had here, and we can jump onto the next episode after that is no, she, we see it. We see it in that episode. Oh, we we don't see it from his perspective. Yeah. But we know that he is troubled and he snaps out of it and they're like, hey, keep your witchery to yourself. Yes. And she's like, how about how about you leave? Yeah. Um, like, how about you let us test the kids and then we'll leave? The the other issue that I have here is there was like speaking of flippancy when I was when I was saying, like, give me a, a stupid stork version mm-hmm. where she sits there and goes, but the Jedi are the good guys. And the yeah, mother goes. Yeah. Go ahead. No, go Yeah. The, the mother goes, it's not about good and evil. It's about power. Who has the right to practice and who doesn't? Yeah. And the, that was good. Tell me more now. Like we were like, we're like right there. Like you, like, like this, this is, this is just like AP writing one Oh one. Like, here's your thesis statement. No, give, give me, give me the, give me your like, and in this essay, I will explain. Like, and, oh, tell me, tell me. I'm so interested. I'm at the edge of my seat. You're about to, like, I'm going to learn something. You're going to make an excellent argument. And then we didn't. Osha goes, I don't understand. And she goes, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you don't. You're, you're a, a kid. kid. Ten minutes fucking later. Not even. I want to be a Jedi. Well, she's old enough to make her own fucking decisions. Yeah. I can't explain to her how this shit works, but go ahead. You go join a militaristic cult. Yeah. That's fucking fine. Yeah. We religious, do that at 18 in this re- country. Religious militaristic cult. Yeah. Jesus fucking, it is. And it's not great. That it, when I say that the writing was bad, guys, that's where it doesn't make sense because we get a flippant, oh, you just, you don't even understand. Like you're a child, you don't understand, like, because I told you so. And then it's go, yeah, go, go join the military. Like, if that's what go you join want, the Crusades. you're old enough to make your own choices. Like, but you literally just told me that I was too young to understand. And then, like, Two breaths later, you're telling me like, "Yeah, if this is what you want. Yeah, go ahead." And I just like, "Come on." And then I mean, it was it it was it was very much like dysfunctional family. Like I I felt I felt like I was a little kid again with my parents. And then uh, um, May follows Osha to her room, and oh, they go take the test. They the Jedi fight fight figure out that they were told to lie to him about the test. Yeah. They're doing the like cup ship whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, we get to the end of the episode, and May. Goes back to being comically evil, takes the note from Osha, locks her in a room, starts a fire outside of it. That's because Osha's like drawing the Jedi symbol, like all over her notebooks and shit. It's a cool symbol. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mr. Play has it tattooed on his forearm because he's a nerd. Um, <laughs> Sorry. You and your militaristic cults. Go ahead. Yeah, it's tattooed all over your body. Oh, mm. go ahead. Mm. 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 I'm feeling really judgy over here right now. Anyway, um, it's like Osha's draw- drawing the symbol, like the Jedi Order symbol, all over, like over and over again. And it's like, who put that in her mind? Like, I just, I, I immediately thought that she was being influenced by the Jedi in order to do this. Yeah, like, I, I yeah. I'm like, this is not okay. How do you even know? Like, the Jedi are the good guys. Like, how the fuck would you know? You don't even know what it means to be a Jedi. I don't even know if you even know about lightsabers yet. Like, I'm not... That's why everyone wants to be a Jedi. Everybody wants a fucking lightsaber. She does say to her, like, when Torben's, like, taking her uh, her, her blood, she goes, do we all get a laser sword? She's, like, after he, a lot he, of practice. He, she sees it, like, on, on, on his, his hip. hip. But, yeah, but, like, right there, you're right. Like, oh, I want a laser sword. I'm like, yeah, I'd yeah, probably, that's, I'd that's, probably that's, join that's a cult for a laser sword. For sure, for sure. Yeah, like, <laughs> eight-year-old Nicole would have been like, laser sword? Say less. I'm in. Sign me up. Son of a bitch, I'm in. Like... <laughs> Say less. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. But like, how do you even know what these things are? How do you know what the force is? How do you even know what it means to be a Jedi? And like, she doesn't. She's just a little kid. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you can't, you can't tell me that like, oh yeah, old enough to like make your own decisions. I'm like, you don't even, you don't know. Yeah. Your brain isn't, like your frontal cortex isn't developed enough to make this life altering decision. Sorry, not sorry. No. No. Fire. So May gets mad at her. Yeah, May gets mad at her. Bert tries to burn her to death. That was fucked up. It, I don't like it. it like the when, when if I, I saw, can't have you, no one will. I'm like that, oh. she didn't say that, but that was that was like the takeaway. I'm like that. You're the bad twin. <laughs> um. Yeah. That was. 
as far as yin and yang goes, you have all the dark energy. That's not okay. And yeah, it it goes straight down, and uh, Osha gets away, and or Osha gets away because she's saved by Soul. Soul says, "I'm gonna train you as my Padawan." So we got like a we got an Anakin thing again. But even as oh, that is one to one Anakin. Holy shit, <laughs> it is. But even still, like o- Osha manages to escape her room. The fire has raged disproportionately. Osha and May see each other on like this collapsed bridge. They're on opposite ends of the bridge. There's like a cavern between them. Like, you know, the imagery is, is loud and strong. Yes. And, we heard an explosion and, and hear, heard the witches all die yes. in an explosion. Yes. Which is very important. And then like Soul's like, I'll save you. But like as, as he's like taking May out, we're like passing all these fucking bodies. I'm like, what the hell happened here? Yeah. And we know that. Torben is his face is injured in some capacity and we get on the ship. And we leave. And like, yeah, and then Osho wakes up. I'm like, what's going on? Like, May started a fire. And we're like, oh fuck. And that's where we learn why Osha has such like negative feelings. Like Yeah, she couldn't let Osha. go of her. Yeah, like oh, oh like May killed my family. May burned my home down. Mm-hmm. May is the reason why I experienced so much grief. Yes. Like all, all of that has been laid at her sister's feet. Yeah, can't let go. And so May is the reason why I couldn't make it in the Jedi Order. Yeah. Because I couldn't make it past my anger and all my grief. Yes. This is May's fault. Um and next we get to episode four. Continuing the like we can't do juxtaposition again. Um what's the title? Day. Yikes. So this is so- this is where um, May and you had his name. I'm sorry, the the potion master, Kamir. Uh, Kamir. Uh, they go to a planet that has a deep jungle that is not um, Kashik, mm-hmm. and they go to hunt down Master Kalnaka, mm-hmm. uh, who is uh, the he, only other Wookiee I've seen aside from like Star Wars Clone Wars. Gunji. Gunji. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, we'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, and they're like, okay, we're going to go find Master Kelnaka. Are you going to be able to kill him? And like, yeah. And they're How like, do you feel about your sister being alive? We're, we're going into the woods and... Don't worry, I've been here before. I'll lead you. I keep cutting you off. I'm sorry. You're fine. Um, all those things are great because Kamir has this back and forth with May. And May's like, well, how do you know the Master? It's like, well, you know, he collects people. He does, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I owe him is kind of what it comes down to. And... He's like, but we're right there. And May sits there and goes, hey, I need to. I need to, like, rest. And he goes, but we're right there. And she's like, yeah, but I just I'm going to run through this and then I have to beat a Wookiee. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> They're strong. Don't know if you know this without using a weapon. Mm-hmm. And I need to figure this out, you know, to, to finish the final thing. And this is where she goes. This is a lesson that you teach yourself. This is like tr- like starting to piece together the final lesson. Mm-hmm. So we we've learned that the mysterious stranger that they have um, because the Jedi know that he exists, but even May doesn't know who he is. And it's trying to explain that. And, and he's like, you know what? You're right. I understand. You're putting it together. You're thinking I'm going to go find you some, some stuff, right? Yeah. I'll go grab some water and stuff for us. And things, things are still happening, but at the same time, we also have Master Soul with Osha and Tow, um, Jeki, Yord, and like others, unnamed others. Sorry, guys, red shirts. Uh, yeah, red red shirt, red shirt Jedi's mm-hmm. and Basil. Yeah, or his name is Basil. He's the weird fuck that weird thing uh, who's going to help them track down May. Yeah, he's like a weasel badger who yeah. does, who speaks whatever language he speaks. It's a more no- nuanced language than Sheree will. Whatever. I he's fucking a punch fuck, that he's, a, he's a glorified bloodhound, yeah, essentially. Is, yeah. 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 Um, this is kind of where I started to have an issue, and I, I got to talk to Tyler and Anna about it, because everyone enters the woods, mm-hmm. and you even noticed it when we were watching this episode, so May is now resting, we're going to say. Um, another scene's happening at the same time. Mm-hmm. We're all the Jedi, and they come in, and you see these, like, Black growths on the tree. Yeah. And it's like if the tree had warts. Yeah. And your first thing is like, don't touch it. 
And like yeah. Ma- Osha turns around and goes like, oh, I think I feel it. And it's yeah, like, no, oh. like my, my chem bio background. I'm like, if you don't know what it is, you don't fucking touch it. I don't know. Maybe it's not even chem bio. Maybe it's just like the upbringing of like, it, if it's, if you don't intend to buy it, you don't touch it. <laughs> Does it belong to you? No. Then you don't touch it. Keep your hands to yourself. And, but she sits there and like, she's like, it, it, Reach, it was, yeah, she reaches out with the force. It felt, and it, it felt like it was like, oh, she's been cut off with the force. Okay. She, of course. Yeah, she needs to get the force back. I know. Oh, she gets her groove back. Fine. <laughs> this is where we're at with it. And she like reaches out and touches it. And then it you, like she, yeah. she like turns away and you watch it like skitter up the tree and you're like, yep, oh, yep, this yep. is yep. good. Fuck, so, fuck, something fuck, like fuck, some fuck. sort of bug thing with many legs. And Ooh. this is where I was like, wait, we're like we're in Kashyyyk. You know what the first thing Cal does when he's at a Kashyyyk? When he gets past the Empire stuff, wow, this place is teeming with life. I can feel the force everywhere. Luke goes to fucking Dagobah. Wow, this place is teeming with life. I can I can feel the force everywhere. Like, not as elegant. Yeah. Every time that happens, we got like 14 Jedi walking through, maybe like eight. Not one of them can yeah. feel this shit. Yeah. And I was talking to, in the, in the High Republic books... Mm-hmm. The Jedi don't describe the force as like this feeling. Mm -hmm. So like me, I'm very auditory. Maybe the force is just a constant stream of music to you. And that's 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 how I experience it. Which is really cool. Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. You would be. Yeah. (laughs) Why did you walk into a forest fucking blind teeming with life? And you're like, hunky dory. And it's just like, "Eh, maybe not touch those things, guys. Like, no one goes, hey, I feel something, don't touch. It's just, what? Let, let's keep going. Do, 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 do. The moth comes out, do, 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 do. flies towards Soul's lightsaber, because it's, it's, it's the light. light. Yep, yep. Cuts moth, it in moth half. Moth drawn the light. And then you want to hear the real point where it's like, oh, the Jedi, maybe not even just bad people, but psychopaths. Jackie, who's supposed to be like nine or ten or however old she is. Yeah, she was like a little Padawan. She's sitting there like... like when Ahsoka first gets with Anakin kind of age. She's like sitting there and she's like... Wow, I've never seen anyone become one with the force before. And yeah. it's just like, whoa. No, he just killed it. That's like me yeah. shooting a dog in the street, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you don't just say. Yeah. I've never watched someone go straight to Jesus before. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> that is not okay. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Ah, fucking Kool-Aid. Ah. <laughs> and it's so beautiful. Like, no. <laughs> just, it's yeah, kind it of half smoldering on the ground. It, it was alarming. It was alarming. Like all crimson red flags. <laughs> red flags crimson. Yeah, like that. Ugh. Yeah. Like don't don't say it in awe. Like it was some sort of beautiful thing. The natural progress like sure, all things must come to an end. All all living things do die. That one didn't have to Maybe die. Maybe let's not champion the violent death that you guys caused. Yeah. I'm mean, like, you sliced it in half with your fucking laser sword. Like, sure, it probably happened so fast that it didn't feel pain. And is it evolved enough to actually have pain receptors? Probably. But like, come on. We've never known a time of war. It's been peace. Like, I expect a little bit more like Shaolin Buddhist monk. And instead, I fucking got colonizers. <laughs> it is. It is. This was the equivalent, and for not wartime, this was the equivalent to the army, like when we were getting indoctrinated in that. Of no, you'll send them to see their god, and it's like you don't say that to kids. At Apparently, 18, we you do. probably should have been saying that to me. Yeah, it's part of the part of indoctrination. The pro- yeah, it's I know. Part of the programming. I know, but that's where uh, that's yeah. where it happens. Yeah, um, like we're, we're, we as the audience are supposed to feel alarmed by that. I'm it? hoping we are. I sin- oh God. I don't we, trust we the must. writing of the show, so we, I don't know. We must. We must. I don't know if they were like, oh, cool. We must. Because the second that was happened, I was like, oh, there's the plot point for how no, they but, get away but the, in the next episode. The, the critics are always complaining about how woke everything is. And I'm like, oh, there's no white people. Praise. And, oh, we're going to, we're going to like, oh, there's women. You, Star Wars didn't have women. Well, yes, yes, we do. Yes, we do. And the stereotypical, like, what, uh, white patriarchal power it is like that that is that is the correct way and now and now we're being shown that the jedi aren't the good guys like i'm sorry people's uh beliefs are very fragile and they cling to them overly strong like too strong mm-hmm. so they're, they're going like doth protest too much by by being shown that like may, maybe maybe the jedi aren't the good guys maybe maybe we shouldn't be going about uh 
it, confronting May in mm-hmm. this fashion. Maybe we didn't have to kill the moth. And I look, it's just, it's just a moth bug thing. But like, guys, there, there were fucking layers. <laughs> this is not okay. Especially since we know Ahsoka as a baby had forced Snoop Boop. Yeah. None of y'all have forced Snoop Boop to like, be like, no, no yo, one, buddy, no one chill. Was, yeah, no one was aware of the forest teeming with life. No one was like, hmm, maybe don't touch that. No one could, no one else was like, hey, I sense something coming. And like your first reaction is I'm going to cut it down with my lightsaber as opposed to. Technically, it doesn't have weapons, dude. Why'd you use your lightsaber? OK. Uh, yeah. like it, the, 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 fir- the first response when being confronted with unknown was violence. Yes. I'm like, that's some colonizer shit. That's not OK. It's not OK. People are going to hate me in this episode. Uh, no, it's okay. fucking. Go on. It, you. Like, I'm going to get so much criticism. No, that's fine. It, if Go somebody on. can't look at this, and if, if you don't see this, that's fine. It doesn't make an argument any more or less valid. If you're like, no, it's just woke crap because, because the I Jedi are the good no, guys. Because, because I lack critical thinking skills. No, I'm going to make fun of you. Go read a fucking book. Or Go I, exercise I, your brain. I like the Jedi being good at guys. That's why I watch Star Wars and sure, I don't want this. Sure, that's, that's a different, more nuanced opinion. Okay, <laughs> that's that's fine. I, I understand not wanting that. I'm just here for my good Star Wars times. I understand. I also don't want the church to cast people out when, you know, there's a hurricane coming that's killing people because how dare they track mud into your mega church. Uh, I don't oh, want you Joel to touch. Yeah. I don't want you to touch little boys. I don't want you to touch it's people children. inappropriately. Anyone, anyone, um, anyone. Not even Rookie. appropriate. I don't want you to touch people without consent. Let's start there. No, I, that's what I was going for. <laughs> like, I don't want you to touch someone inappropriately. Blanket, blanket statement. Here's the new floor. I don't want you to promote cannibalism. Like, maybe what just don't do this thing. about? This is his body. Oh, gee. Okay. I was like, what are you saying? <laughs> okay. Okay. The, the body and blood of Christ. Okay. Got you're making fun of the Catholics again. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Go on. Um, so, like, that, that, that's all fine. Uh, so. Olstein? Yeah, Joel Osteen. Okay, I said Olsen. I'm like, that's not right. Yeah, I fucking my grandmother watched the shit out of him. Fuck that guy. Yes. Uh, so the, the episode ends with like this convergence where May sets a trap, screams to draw everyone near her, and uh, Kamir, comes, Kamir comes running, gets caught in the trap, and is she, dangling upside down. And he's like, what are you doing? And he's like, all I have to do is go tell Kana- Kanaka because I can, I can do this and, like they'll kill you she's like that's fine my sister is safe this changes yeah, my, everything my sister's alive this changes everything we can talk about this now like yeah. i was going through this because i didn't think there was anything else mm-hmm. but now i have a way to do this yeah, so I, everyone yeah comes i real, i realize there's an alternate path and it was like oh here here's your moment of growth of yeah. you did this because you didn't know what else to do yeah you didn't see any other ways and now the second that way is open you're not like well i'm in too deep mm-hmm. you're like I'll, I'll i'll pay for my sins but my yep, sister's yep, alive like, and I, safe yeah yeah. Like every we're gonna talk about I'll, this. Yeah, I'll pay for my crimes. I'll face judgment. I won't be the only but one on the hanging out. My, my sister's alive. Yeah. And she goes to run to Kelnaka. And we saw Kelnaka kind of previously alive going out, like yeah. foraging whatever has sure, get sure, outside. Sure. Yeah, yeah. She goes in there, goes, Master Kelnaka, Master Kelnaka, and he's dead. Yeah. He's with an obvious lightsaber slash across yeah, the like still sizzling. Still still like ha- smoked hair. And Singed hair. That's then the she's like, he's, he's here. here. And you're like, oh, fuck, that is terrifying. Yeah. And then we go outside. Jedi run up and, you know, they all pull out Con- their yeah, lightsabers. Conveniently. And they're like, come guns out, drawn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guns drawn. Come out. We know you're in there. And May, like, yeah. doesn't come out because she's like, no, something worse is here. Yeah. And <laughs> then we get the reveal of the mask. Which the Sith do love a mask. It was a spooky mask. mask. It was such a good mask. I was like, that is unsettling. It is so, so good. Um, and the... It's like the end of that episode, damn near. Yeah, that episode ends, and then, because I called it uh, right at the end of it, I was like, so the next episode... Oh, like they, they just get in conflict, and he, like, force pushes them back. Then oh, yeah, he, he, he throws Osha out of the way and, like, pushes them all back. And you're like, oh, the next episode's gonna be a fight. I'm like, what are you talking about? The next episode's gonna start halfway through the fight or after the fight. People are already gonna be dead or dying. And like, it's gonna pick up, up immediately. I know, but hey. And guess how the show starts? So the next episode, which With here. OSHA having ringing in her ears. Yeah, OSHA having ring. So this was kind of a point that threw me. So the, 
we're talking about the juxtaposition of the first two episodes. <laughs> the first episode being day, the next episode being night. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, we're supposed to get two full episodes for this. And we kind of don't. Because mm-hmm. this one was more or less a giant fight. For yeah. the entirety of the episode. Yeah. And it was really good. It was ec- it was excellent. It was, honestly, I know I know we were said it once, but like the fight scenes were so good. Loved it. L- I loved how much time and dedication that they spent making that look good. I appreciate it. I stand for it. Love. No complaints. I yeah. It and to me it felt like the I know that we said that like, hey, when Obi Wan when Hayden Christensen and uh, Ewan McGregor. I was like, Obi-Wan. I was like, Jesus? <laughs> um, Spouse. I'll show you those memes. Uh, I, I know the memes. Oh, okay. Um, like, when they're fighting with their lightsabers, it's this super well-practiced. Mm-hmm. But it's like, oh, you guys have been fighting battles for a while. Mm-hmm. Whereas this is like, if you're talking about a time of peace, I could see you putting a lot of, like, into kung fu, martial arts. Like, Instead of just being like, yeah, you still do your stances with your saber, but you're so much well, more well practiced in just like fisticuffs mm-hmm. because you realize like, hey, I don't need to, like if I draw my saber, something kind of needs to die. Yeah. And I, I, I liked that. Um, watching him dispatch every Jedi knight. Yeah, watching the stranger. Because mm-hmm. like that's, that's how he's captioned. Was, was fantastic. Um, like, the fact that they went behind the tree and you watch them like take off somebody's arms. Oh, and yeah. And then, no, I'm going to pull someone's spear. Like, he does the thing that we all want to do in games where it's like, I'm going to pull you into my lightsaber, mm-hmm. spear you, take it out, and then still cut off your heads because you could survive a stomach wound sometimes. Yeah, for a little while. It's a, it's a laser, it cauterizes it. Yeah. Like, you're still going to die, but also slowly. Yeah. And we get to see that fight until Soul gets involved and Jackie gets involved. And you even noticed while the stranger was fighting everyone at some point, like the lightsaber starts shorting out. Yes. And you figured it out. Cause I'm just like, what the fuck happened? What is going on over here? Like shitty quality, like builds. What happened? And you're like, no, he's headbutting the, the, like the, the say, like the lightsaber, the laser. And it's like, it's, it's shorting it out. And we had to like, go back and like, watch it three times. <laughs> so I'm like, no, show me, show me. Wait, what is that? I missed it. I don't understand. I don't understand how this is happening. <laughs> he has like a grieve on his arm as well. So like mm-hmm. he's like he's throwing it up there because it will go away. Yeah. And it just it shorts out the lightsaber for, you know, probably only like 15, 20 seconds. But that's a long ass time in a fight. Yeah. And the Internet says that the helmet is made of portosis. Yes, which is it, it is an existing thing um, in, in Star Wars that. OK, it, that was the first time I interacted with him. Like, oh, it's obviously like Mando's armor. It. So yeah, the Mandalorian armor, uh-huh. um, Beskar. Beskar armor, Beskar. Okay. is highly dense uh-huh. and can reflect it. Okay, think of this more as like super diffusion, almost yeah. like Black Panthers. Got it, got it. Um, and in some, it's kind of gotten taken out since Beskar is now its own thing. Mm-hmm. Um, to where it was like it was completely its own thing, but sometimes Mandalorians would like mix the two to get like super. I mean, yeah, they're like. Master metallurgist, they can mm-hmm. do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, um, that tracks. Yeah, so you have the fight scene. The helmet gets split. Um, it's such a cool helmet, and we get to see downright unsettling helmet that uh, the stranger is Kamir. Kamir, and I know everyone was like, "Oh, I saw it coming," and I was like, "This, this doesn't make sense." I know you. I uh, timeline wise, sure. Like there, there's a couple of points where I'm like, "How? When? Why? Not even why." Like, how how the time the, the time ain't timing um but when you said like no they think it's the poison guy i was like looking critically at the stranger's build i'm like no no like they're not going to introduce like a whole new character that would be unlikely um and K- kamir's build aligns with the stranger's build he's got some serious arms he does have mm. serious arms mm. man was fit my thing was you killed a jedi whose wound was still smoldering when when he went to go get water and things for May. Okay. So how long did it take May to set up the trap? 
15, 20 minutes. So he ran over, did that. No, he ran he, back. He sh- went, he went and grabbed was like went like foraging for food and water snackies. Well, like came across the hut, killed Kanaka, came back when he heard the scream, get stuck in a trap. But it completely defeats the point of like May going to go kill him. Yeah. Or going to go kill Kanaka. Because the other thing that we saw here is that he, uh, Kamir starts to be like, you're not, you're not the, the, the acolyte that I want. You're not the student that I want. You are literally only here for revenge. Mm-hmm. But unless he's saying, no, I could feel that the entire time. And he was like, I'm going to give her a chance to do this and to come yeah. up above it. Um, this is also probably where my like least favorite line came from the show, oh, which yeah. was, who are you? Souls confronting Kamir. Yeah, Souls, and he goes, "I'm what you would call a Sith." And I'm like, "Hey, he dropped the name. I want, I want a student. I want an athlete. I want a pupil." Yeah, I and want, yeah, I want a pupil. I want an apprentice. It was a little. That was a little whiny to me. Mm. How he was saying it. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but in my personal opinion, I'm like, okay, this makes sense. No, deliver the line that you had because your alternate line was so much fucking better. Oh. My when he was like, "What are you?" He goes, "I'm what you call everyone like me," mm-hmm. and then have Soul be like Sith, like make the Jedi say it. Yeah, don't have it because now I'm just like, okay, he's, I said the name. I'm calling myself a Sith. Mm-hmm. One of the things, but for like all Jedi to be a master, for all Sith to be a master, you have to teach somebody. The only way you can truly say I have mastered something is when you can teach it to somebody else. So that they can then become a master of it as well. Yeah. And this show, this is where the show plays with that so well, where it's like, okay, he wants a student he can teach. Soul wants a student he can teach. Okay, we have the same person here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to now, this is where I was like, okay, we have something interesting to where the show can run with who is, you know, what what is right to teach, what is wrong to teach, Mm -hmm. how is it right, how is it wrong to teach. And this Mm -hmm. this is what I think I wanted. From like episode two. Mm -hmm. And it just felt like we are. We are now. Five episodes in with three left. And we need to figure out, okay, well, what actually happened at at the temple? So there goes one episode. We need a resolution and we probably have another fight. Um, Episode five really, to me, stepped up the series. Aside from the fact that it was like the the word choice was wrong. And then we also literally watch. So they get into a fight. Uh, Osha, in order to get Kamir away, takes Pip, sticks him on the back, lures a bunch of the mobs, the malls. Oh, I will give this episode credit because one of the things in episode one and the guy who does the deep fakes of Obi-Wan Qui-Gon and Anakin watching this uh, does is he's like the in episode one tall head guy goes the Sith have been extinct for over a millennia and it's like oh but he just said Sith and we're only a hundred years out Mm -hmm. from those episodes and he's like well you all have to die and he kills everyone breaks Yord's neck yeah it is unceremonious Yord is on his knees and and then Jeki gets three like she like he sits there and goes like pew 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 and like turns the lightsaber off into her multiple times yeah. to kill her. Um, I also like that he kind of had Cal's lightsaber. Mm-hmm. Um, not quite as cool as Cal's, but it was there. Um, and but the the show ends, and this is where I thought that they could have done another great show. Don't tell is we watch May confront Osha. There's a fight, a disagreement. Yeah, they're they're, they're just. May does force push, knocks Osha out. Yeah, Osha's like, I'm gonna bring you to justice. Like she's she's still like May is like, no, you're my sister, let me explain. Let's run away. Like we don't we everyone's down. Let's get out of here. Yeah. You and me. Like us against the world. And Osha's like, I'm gonna bring you to justice. And May's like, oh shit, you've been brainwashed. Like, I'm not the bad guy here. And Osha was not fucking hearing it. And it it felt like at one point they went to like go hug and Osha was like, no, you're doing this to me again. Yeah. And it's like, I wonder if there's like some subconscious, like because of who they are, like there's a, like the the twin connection thing, whatever, what have you. Like maybe they're playing on that. Doesn't matter. 
Um, but then the show, like you watch OSHA get stunned, s- knocked out. Mm-hmm. And it makes sense that they would switch places. Mm-hmm. Like very parent trap. This is really cool. <laughs> but the fact that it's like we literally watch May do it and there's no mystery or anything else like that or May's acting or OSHA, mm-hmm. like one of them acting a little weird. Yeah, we, we watch May like starting to like switch clothes with OSHA. And I was like, you guys could have. Even when, like, Kamir comes to take her away after, like, finding Osha. By the way, I love the idea now that Force Heal is a dark side move. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it's always considered, like, we'll play, well, eventually we'll play through KOTOR, mm-hmm. where you have Force Heal. But the fact that it could be, like, hey, you have, you have the ability to use Life Force to heal somebody. And it's like, oh, well, if you're draining the Life Force from yourself or people around you, I can see that being a dark side move. But at the same time, like, is it how it's implied or how it's used? Um, so that episode ends with everyone being like set aside and going their separate ways with the other people. Which now brings us to the uh, next episode, which is uh, teach slash corrupt. So we did two episodes of like or one episode of like destiny doesn't make sense. Uh, oh, what? are you seeing the pattern? What so, happened? so first two episodes, right? Lost, found, revenge, justice, destiny, mm-hmm. right? One episode, day, night. So, getting to the fight, and leading up to the fight, right? Mm-hmm. Teach corrupt is back to its own, like double. Mm-hmm. Episode seven, where we recap episode two, choice, destiny, choice. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and then the acolyte being the the final episode. Okay, so anyway, so we get Teach Corrupt, where we now get to see everyone kind of talk about their different styles of teaching and what it means to be a a Jedi as far as, like, how you teach somebody, how someone cares. Um, Soul talks to Mei, like, oh, look at how you treat Pip. You treat him in such a good... Or thinking it's Osha. Yeah, you treat he, him. he's addressing her because he doesn't notice the fucking mark on her head. I mean, she does a really great job of keeping, like, yeah, her, she, her she, hair she does in the way. Her her bang Bangs. braids. Yeah. Um, so She just cants her head so they sit a little heavy on the yep, side. Yep, 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 yep. Um, Why is your head just not inside the whole time? Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a plot device. Didn't you part your hair the other way? Uh, <laughs> sorry. No, that was funny. Uh... And the stranger kind of does sexy time to... Dude, that was so fucking good. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. My, my, my favorites on it all, like, was all the social media, like... I'm coming to the dark side. The dark side looks like that. Like... <laughs> and I'm like, Disney knew, what, <laughs> Disney knew what they were doing with this thirst trap. So, like, Kamir goes... And to like this like infinity pool onsen hot spring, hot spring onsen situation. In Iceland. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And he like undresses. We see a well defined physique. And um, if anyone wants to listen to the voiceover for this show, like once again, they knew what they were doing. It's like takes the shirt off and it exposes his well defined back. And I'm like, yes, they did. <laughs> Yes, they did. Hey, did you and like he, a cord a cord of, a cord of? Oh boy, like, do we got yes, an episode yeah, for you. Yeah, like how do you feel about Akatar? Like all the book talk individuals. I'm not just going to limit it to the girlies. Everyone was thirsty. Um, so he like he takes off his his, his pants. He wades into the water. Um, he is bathing. Osha has followed him and is like peeping on him and. Kamir's pretending not to notice, but I'm like, you, you, you know, he knows that she's there, and he knows how sexy he is. Of course, he knows. <laughs> Who's not gonna peek at that? Oh my god, yeah, a very pretty man. He worked exceptionally hard, um, and we we're all deeply appreciative. So she, Osha, grabs his lightsaber. And it's just kind of like holding it, kind of like looking at him, and he's like, "Feels good, doesn't it, to have it in your hands." And oh, that's oddly sexual, isn't it? There's nothing odd about it. Okay, it is sexual. <laughs> it is. It is. I'm telling you, they knew what they were doing. And he's like, "Well, if you're not going to join me, then I'd like to put on my pants. Like, I'd like to put clothes on." I'm like, mm-hmm. 
<laughs> melt. Melt. Like, I love you. I'm loyal to you. I will never cheat on you. I melted. The like, damn. I feel like everyone with a pulse should have melted, and if you didn't, you're lying. Um, she allegedly maintains eye contact with him as he arises from the pool and puts his clothes back on. I'm like, you're a better person than the other 98%. Um, and then, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just like flirty tension teaching the entire remainder of the, it, it, it is the allure, the literal seduction of the dark side. Everything you've known, what if it's not a lie, but what if it's just like not the whole truth? Like they condition, like the the Jedi conditioned you to believe these certain things. But look, look who ultimately threw you away, and you didn't become a Jedi. And sure, you have these teachings, but having feelings, emotions, and using using the power of your emotions is that really such a bad thing? And and it's one of those where like, that's the path to the dark side, like schematics. Because so. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, lo- thanks for letting me thirst. You're you're fine. Like, Damn. Mm. Trust me. Oh, trust he was pretty. He was very pretty. Um, what you typing? Starkiller. Um, Starkiller, Starkiller, Starkiller. God damn it! I know Malik Starkiller. Starkiller looks Sam just Whitworth? like Sam Whitworth. What are you trying Sam- to say? Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Sam Whitaker. Uh, Whitworth. Whitworth. Sam Witwer uh, talks about how the the Jedi are supposed to be compassionate, and they are supposed to they're they're supposed to actually use their emotions like positively. Where it's like you don't want to just be being stoic is not the answer. Yeah, like you can you can be stoic when you need to be. I wholeheartedly love me some stoicism. Um, the obstacle mm-hmm. being the way, whatever you want to call it, but. He he will come out and say the Jedi aren't supposed to be this detached body mm-hmm. of yeah that's like that's, divine that's a robot. fury whatever they want to be now. Um, I don't understand what you just said. They're, they're, they are the, they are like we we commune with the Force. We are the will of the Force. Oh, we are divine justice. Yeah, that's sure. that's whatever yeah, the fuck yeah. they think they are. Yeah, yeah. And the Sith are like, oh well, I get a little angry sometimes, and when I fight people that kind of piss me off, I might be a little angry when I beat the shit out of them. Um, but it wasn't even like it. The, so uh, anger is the focus because, like, don't fight when you're angry. You're like, anger is a great, powerful emotion, but it's not going to sustain you. It'll burn you out, and that's always like that's that's the, the, the one of the flaw of the Sith is like, anger is very strong. It's not sustaining, and you need the more like uh, moderate detachment of, of the Jedi path in order to really prevail ultimately with victory. But anger aside, what what. Kamir was getting at, what the stranger was getting at was like, your emotions all forms even if it was like pleasure could be more powerful Mm -hmm. and be easier to tap into and useful to you as opposed, like the reason why you couldn't achieve quote balance when you you were undergoing Jedi training is because of all like this anger and resentment that you couldn't let go of that you felt towards your sister and just the, the grief of losing your family and your culture Instead of that being bad, let that be a useful tool for you. Like that that's a tool in your toolbox, as opposed to something we should shut down and lock out. Or and I personally like to like, hey, compassion. Like, I love my wife. I would do anything for her. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, you like someone wants to hurt. Okay, you're about to see what I can do because Yeah. Like and yeah. It, it you can use those things like sure, don't fight angry because it'll, it'll it'll blind you, it'll it it will dull you in ways that will burn you out faster. Mm-hmm. That being said, if you can use it properly, it goes well. One of the things I'm gonna go DBZ for a moment. Okay. Right. Um. So after everything kind of happens and, and the tournament of power is super, uh, Goku gets his cool silver haired form where he's mm-hmm. like his body thinks on its own, each independent independent part. There's a point in it, 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 it's <laughs> autonomous ultra okay, instinct okay, is okay. dumb. Yeah, cool. um, there's a point though because he hasn't mastered it. Where in one of the last the superhero movie that you said looked dumb because of how it was animated, mm-hmm. he and Vegeta are away training on a planet, mm-hmm. and Vegeta is meditating, and he sits there and and Goku's making fun of him for that. He goes, "Did you not notice like when we were fighting Jiren 
that like he wasn't any stronger than us. But his energy only came out at the point of the move. So it wasn't like, I'm going to throw a punch and you telegraph it the entire way. It was the punch is connecting with you and that's when the energy explodes and I'm consuming so much. I'm using so much less power but delivering what like your Kamehameha would be. Mm -hmm. And he figures that out and that's when we... Yeah, it's, like, a, it's that's, a better energy conservation. And it's like, More that is what... If you were going to say, hey, I am the strongest force user of the Sith and the Jedi, mm -hmm. it would be like, okay, I can bottle it but you best believe like oh you're coming at me and i do a force push mm -hmm. and i like let you feel every bit of rage on that push mm -hmm. but you don't feel it until it's already hitting you yeah and it's like oh there there's the balance between the two you need to have both emotions if you're too detached mm -hmm. then you become the jedi where you're like you know what i'm just gonna go into your brain real quick you're not giving me the information i want but if you go in the Sith, now you're a, you're a bit of a sociopath or psychopath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that, that's all I was trying to get to. Yeah, and you, that, that's a that's a good argument. Yeah, that's a good point. So Sam Whitaker's point there, like Whitwer, Sam Whitwer. <laughs> God damn it, I love that man, <laughs> Sam Whitwer. Um, <laughs> okay, to be honest, uh, he he does say that is what, like that's what the Jedi are supposed to be. That's what Qui Gon is. Qui Gon mm -hmm. is compassionate to the plight of this child. Mm -hmm. And he's like, he could be the chosen one, on you know, until Maul gets, yeah, 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 you know, run runs through that one real quick. So funny. Thank you. Um, and yeah, so Osha goes. Well, Soul has this great connection with me, and I love the fact that Kamir, the stranger, goes. No, no, hold, stop, stop. He is not strong. You are strong. She's like, that's a creepy mask. And he goes, yeah, you know, it's, it does this. It, it shorts out this. So when you're fighting multiple opponents, it's nice to take away their weapons. Um, mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's like a force deprivation mask. The same thing we used in the Jedi Temple when they were teaching you to commune with the force. Mm -hmm. You should try it. Mm -hmm. And that episode ends up ending with her like putting on that mask. Yeah, and also cr ahead. critical line was Kamir saying like he you guys didn't have a strong connection. Like he was attracted to he was drawn to you. Yes, and that was the connection. Like he was drawn to your power, Osha, and she's still in like disbelief. But yeah, otherwise. And this is where we also uh, everything goes back to the green. Hair, the sorry, green haired, uh, Venestra, Vemstra, Ver, Venestra, Venestra, uh, the green Buck Jedi, her, who is, Bitch. she's like the head of the subcommittee <sighs> of the sub council because there's like there's yeah, the high council yeah. and then there's this council, yeah. and she goes, she's she like, like tells Soul, why didn't you tell me? I could have helped you fucking like hide this better. You don't yeah. understand. Uh -huh. And I'm just like, she was, she's middle management. <laughs> yeah, she is. Nobody likes you. Um, because she now comes out to try to find Soul and is like, no, you've kind of done enough, buddy. Like, yeah. And they go, she helps bury all the bodies to figure out what happened. Um, we get to see her cool little purple light whip. So much like Mace Windu, mm -hmm. um, where I don't think it's canon anymore, but Mace Windu went to a planet where he wasn't allowed to hurt the things that were going to attack and kill him mm -hmm. because he used too much dark side. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the whole thing, I think they give him a special kyber crystal that turns purple. And that's why he is morally gray. Yeah, he's morally gray, but he like. um, He's really cool. doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's but that's what they kind of go into. But that's like that's canon anymore. Mm -hmm. But it looks like for her, like a light whip. I like me some Indiana Jones spouse. Yeah. I like me the color purple. Mm hmm. The book and the wall. Yes. For some odd reason, if you got a purple whip, mm -hmm. don't think you're a good guy. You're a good guy. It's like, did you see the thing making the round of the guy with the whip and he, he whipped grape soda? I don't know what you're saying. I was, I'll, okay, I'll find it. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a guy like doing the, the cool whip tricks mm -hmm. and he cracked a can of grape soda mm -hmm. and then it goes why did it have to be grape soda it's a reference because people who are black 
tend to like grape soda. Oh. And it was, okay. it was, why was it the grape soda? Um. That was the question. Yeah. So this is one of those things where I'm looking at it like, you have a purple whip. Purple's a fusion of blue and red. Yeah, good and not good. And it's a whip. And I brought up. Which we were only really associating with, like, torture. Yeah. Um, like, and, oppression. It is a tool of oppression. And then you're sitting there looking at it like, hey, that scar up his back. Yeah, on Kamir's back. And, and you're like, like, that wasn't oh. a straight line. But you got a scar. You got a little disfigured over there. You were fucking flogged. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Um, that's, that's where that leads us. Yeah, it's and... like, oh, my master threw me away. And I'm like, who is your master? Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, that was a good reveal. Mm-hmm. Um, and but one of the times where they showed and didn't tell. Yeah. Uh, yep. So uh, they're going to take Soul home. And he's like, no, we need to find her. And uh, we need to find Osha. We need to find Osha. Because he, he realizes that May is pretending to be Osha. Yeah. Stuns May, locks her up in her, the chair, the, the, the torture. I don't know. The, the, the mm-hmm. table. Yeah. He fastens her to the table. Yes. And he goes, I had said there would be a long time if I ever found you. There were these. There are things I wanted to say. That I wanted to say to you, and then we get episode seven choice, which is I now see episode three, episode seven are mere episodes. Destiny versus choice, mm-hmm. and it's just a rehashing of episode three, mm-hmm. but we see it from the Jedi's perspective. Yep, uh, we learned they're there looking for a virgins. And what is a virgins? A virgins is a concentration of force energy centered around a location basically like ley lines yes um ley lines uh you get like <sighs> vader's glove is supposed to be made like there there are so many weird things out there that have been like decanonized canonized of like sure. what a virgins can create okay. um vader's lightsabers like technically like a virgins where that's why like i don't even want to the- talk about it I okay just, like you're that I don't want to listen. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't care about this shit. Yeah, it's like, I'm just like, you're going to say things that are going to irritate me and um, I'm not going to want to listen. <laughs> uh, Mustafar, though, where Vader's temple is or his palace is, is built on a virgence of... See, I'm good with that because like, oh, look, it's a location as opposed to like, an object. And that's where I'm like... Mm. The um the temple that uh, the Inquisitors are at where they have all the bodies, like mm-hmm. that is also technically a virgence point. And now you've just stacked other people who might not yeah. be dead. Magnifiers. Yeah. Yeah. Amplifiers. Yeah. yeah you, just, you just added a bunch of amplifiers to that area. Um, yeah. And the big thing for this episode was, okay, what were the Jedi doing here? Yeah. Um, you learn that Soul's still a knight at this time. Mm-hmm. And Dara's the master. And Dara's Padawan is like, this. Th- there's no Corbin. glory. I want to go home. I don't want to be he here. Whiny. Like they've been there for like seven weeks on a uh, friend doc. Yes. And no one really, it wasn't clear to Torben, like what their effing purpose was. They're like, why are we even here looking at this plant life? There doesn't seem to be anything besides plants and a couple of bugs. Why are we still here? What, like, what, why? Yes. And I, I said, I, I empathized with him. I sympathized with him because if I'm being sent, if I'm going to even just do what feels like menial work, mm-hmm. I per if, in order for me to still find it fulfilling and remain on mission, I need to understand how this like irritating task, this boring task, fits into the grand scheme of things, so that I can still feel like it's it's it serves a purpose, as opposed to trust your leadership. And I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> Once again, my voice goes higher in pitch. But I'm like, no, no. Explain it to me so that I can have buy-in, so I can understand. And if you can't do that, then I'm going to be suspicious of you. Like, if, if you can't explain this to me in a way that makes sense, that I, that I can, like, buy into and, and, like, slap my hand on the table of, like, yes, I understand this needs to be done. And it's something that I can, like, remember when I'm like, I don't want to fucking do this for another five minutes let alone like you know another couple of weeks if you if you can't give me that you can't inspire my loyalty and my understanding and share information with me then i'm not going to follow you because you're asking like, you want obedience and i'm not here for that uh, so thank you for you're good my ted talk <laughs> and this is this is to me i think where the the show Sorry, shines yeah yeah they added nuance as as a as a as somebody who like studied teaching 
Mm -hmm. um, and loves Kung Fu and everything that it's supposed to, to be. Um, the, the point there was like, Soul sits there and goes, oh, well, what we're doing here is, you know, is, is we're looking for a virgin to the force. Here's what a virgin to the force is. It's to spell it out for him. And he like tries to be like, hey, here, here's your purpose, right? This is, yeah, this, is, this is the answer to the question. This is the answer to the question. Whereas Master Indara, when he goes away, he sits there and goes, I, she goes, I don't give him answers to appease him. I want him to ask the questions. Because one of the things that you want as somebody is learning is to start being like, okay, we're here. We're cat Okay, I see we're cataloging these things. I see we're measuring for something. But you want them to start piecing together of like, Okay, well, what what is it that we're actually doing? If I'm just putting rocks in a fucking bucket, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. This is I'm breaking big rocks into small rocks. Yeah, okay. That's mind numbing. Yeah, we're now we're at a penal colony. Got it. We're all under arrest and we're doing hard labor. But if it's like, okay, we're here, master. I don't understand. I've been cataloging this. We've been searching these areas. We're taking readings. What? But what are we looking for? Like, I don't understand what the readings are measuring. I, there was, it was all of those are the questions that. Um, you guys can't see this, but uh, Jamie just became a lab cat for Mrs. Play as we're sitting at the. Uh, and I'm at, doing at everything I can to keep my joy on the inside. Just hop up on my lap. Um, and and she wanted him to at and least find the answers and start like making connections. Yeah, and like sure, if you need help and you have questions, you don't necessarily know like okay, what are we measuring for? Like, that's that's fine, but he's at least asking, like, okay, I see what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Whereas Soul was like, oh, no, this is what we're doing. This is why it's so important. This is what it means for... And it's like, okay, he's not going to retain any of that. He just goes, okay, fine, walks away and continues putting rocks in a bucket. Mm -hmm. It didn't actually teach him anything or help him do anything in that way. And that was why, at one point, Carrie Moss goes, that's why I'm a master with a Padawan and you're not. Yeah. And you're like, oh, fuck, you, this is this is clearly like you're not ready to teach because you conflate answers with them learning. Mm -hmm. And that's not how it is. Um, and then we get to see in reverse or I'm sorry, we get to see from the perspective of the guy who ran up on the children, like watching them get carried. Yeah. He so goes May back Osha as soul. Soul uh, sees May and Osha goes back and goes. Master and Dara, we need to do something. There are people here. Yeah, there are children. They're being captured. I worry for their safety. Yeah. And she, and Master and Dara is like a fucking Karen. Master and Dara is like is like okay. Well, we can go see. And they're like, oh no, they're witches. So it's like Night Sisters. And she's like, we don't know that. They're not yeah. Night Sisters. Which I appreciate that they were like. Yeah, she was an applying reason. Like, come on. But the fact that she was like, but they're not Night Sisters. You haven't seen this before. There are other yeah. cultures yeah. that practice with the force. It's not all bad. And I like the fact like they, they of course they sneak in there. We kind of see what happens. We get everything in reverse. Master and Dara's like, hey, look, I spoke to the council. The council said we don't take the children away from their home. I know you feel for their safety. Yeah, um, the children have already been tested. Yeah, like this is they're too old. Like this is keep them here with their family. We don't have the right. Yeah. Um, we get to see like Torben, what actually happens, which is where he's like inside or like when he's getting taken over and she's in there, like, tell yeah, me when, what you when want. Ma master, what's his name? A mother. Uh, mother. Anazea. Anazea. Is in his head. And it's like, oh, you want to go home? I can help you get home. You, you want to go back to Coruscant? I totally understand that. Let me tell you what you need to do. I'll help you get back there right now. Just, just. I love the fact that so um this is like the D and D portion in me mm -hmm. where there are like certain like they now have it for uh, uh warlocks mm -hmm. where it's like how do you get your power like oh I, I commune with a demon and I have to do this to get it and there are like other things where it's like it's the monkey paw of a jinn mm -hmm. where it's like say you want to go back but he needs to acknowledge and say this is what I want. She can't mm -hmm. just be like, I can't just do it for you. You do need. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. I loved that. Like say the words, this is different. This isn't just the forces. We've seen it. Mm -hmm. um, that was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, we get to see them go back. Uh, we get to see the Jedi go back. 
uh, Carrie Moss is like, no, you guys, we're not doing this. Continue collecting. Then we're going to leave after we finish doing our thing. Yeah. There's a virgins. Soul kind of goes. The kids are in trouble. They are the virgins. The virgins is here. We don't see other kids. We don't see fathers. Yeah. How did this happen? Yeah. He like independently on his own was like, these children were created by the force. That's like unauthorized use of force energy. We have to save them because they're in danger of just the fucking tales that he spun in order to justify his actions and then roping Torben into it. Um, obviously, it all ends horribly, as we saw from like episode three. Yes. Uh, episode two, I think. We'll need to check but still, um, yeah, as we Don't see from like earlier on in in the season and the uh witches take over kalnaka Mm -hmm. and they they're basically mind controlling over him having him fight um soul and torben that's how torben gets a fucked up face (laughs) oh he like grabs him claw down the face oh yeah 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 fights like a Uh wookie not like a jedi that is correct um like big strong I like how it's like, you shouldn't have brought him back here. And Torben's like, no, my mind is ready. Like, yeah, I like, wasn't I, talking my, yeah, about Yeah, my, my walls are up. I'm guarded. I'm good. My mind is secure. And I'm like, I wasn't talking about you. Um, I do like the other thing that we got here for Mother Coral, mm-hmm. um, where she's like, we need to stay here and fight, starts arming people, and then looks at May and goes, you don't want your sister to go? Go keep her. Like, attacks her to make her use the force to dispel it. Mm-hmm. And then goes, the Jedi won't give you a chance. And it's one of those things where it's like, okay, we have one mother that was like, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to let one of you go. And, and it was just this like, okay, so May May was wrong, but we start to see here that like, May's like, I want to keep my sister safe because I believe we see the other mother who is also a little bit more harsher towards the kids. Yeah, Coral was a bit more of an authoritarian parent. And she's like, no, I'm going to go out here and fight and protect them. May goes up and we see her start the fire. Mm-hmm. But then she literally runs and goes, hey, something's she, wrong. She dropped the little lantern. Like, yeah. she, didn't, she didn't mean, she didn't, like, throw it down. Yeah. She started it, but it was just, like, gravity. And then. <laughs> she's trying to put it out, doesn't. It gets up into the electrics, and she's like, hey, there's a fire. She's like, yeah. We need to get out of here. We need, yeah, we need I need help. Yeah. You go down there. You actually see, well, how'd all the witches die? And I thought this was, this is one of those things to me where I was like, you started to see the mm-hmm. like the true consequences because Kalnaka is beating the shit out of them. Yeah, out of Soul and Torben. Yep, out of Soul and Torben. Um, you see the witches doing like their seance sway thing mm-hmm. um, to maintain mind control over Kalnaka. Uh, Master and Dara jumps down from the, the the shuttle. Yeah, she rushes over there and is like, I "Fucking hate you guys right now." not like kicks over Kalnaka and does like the Jedi thing to his head and like severs the connection and it instantly kills every witch in there. Yeah. And what you don't realize, we don't know is like, okay, were they kind of trapped in there with him? Because mm-hmm. when we, if you go back a few episodes on his wall are all the spirals. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, is there residual energy just left in your head of that incident? It might've like semi permanently scrambled him. Yeah. And that's just why mm-hmm. he's there. And it, yeah, it's PTSD. Yeah. And and Dara's like I like and you see and Dara do it like she like kind of shudders like mm-hmm. I know what I just did to yeah. like yeah the the consequence you saved him and you probably yeah you killed forty fifty yeah yeah uh we see Mother uh, Anisia because she's like gonna do the like it almost remind me of the scene from the Mummy with the sand yeah where the thing, she's like this to like and you see the darkness going around her and May to get May away yeah of course Soul is like. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. Stab you. Yeah. Which trigger happy cop. Yes. And okay, go on. You see her like creating dark. Yeah, no, for sure. And so I'm like, okay, you, you are ultimately in the wrong here. Soul. I understand why you defended yourself here. You're still wrong. Mm-hmm. May is still kind of the bad guy too. Like she started the fire. I understand it was an accident, but like you pulled the fire and burned the notebook. Like there were yeah. your other mother was like, no, go keep your sister here, mm-hmm. which, and it felt like here, I'm going to teach you how to use this as violence. Use violence. 
You're grossly oversimplifying, but okay, sure. Go and on. we we get to the end where it's like the two. We get right back to where it was. It's the two girls standing at the chasm. Soul has them both. Yeah, and then he's you using, watch he's him using his. He's using the force to try and keep the bridge stable. Yes, because the bridge is broken in the center, and both sides are canting down towards the abyss, the cav- the cavernous abyss, and he's trying to keep things stable in two separate locations simultaneously. Yeah. And he, he chooses Osha. He chooses Osha. May falls to her. Because that's who he had more connection with. May falls to her death. death in quotations. Um, yeah. And Osha falls, but he catches her. I was like, I got you, I got you. I'll never let anything like this happen to you again. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And gets her back to the ship and is like, okay, I'm going to go talk to the council. Also, go ahead. Also, as when Sol stabs mother and Isaiah, um, she goes from like dissipating into like the, the dark mm-hmm. smoke speck stuff, sand, like back to being a human with a fucking lightsaber in her. And she's like, she chose you. I was going to let her go. She already chose you. And I'm like, mother and Isaiah didn't have to die. Yeah. <laughs> like, she was protecting May. They were going to let, she was going to let Osha go. Yeah. And it's so, like, that's where a tremendous amount of guilt for soul comes from. Yes. Okay. Back to where you were. Um, and then we get to the ship. Mm-hmm. Which is where Osha woke up after. Yeah. But we see just before that where Soul's like, I'll go throw myself at the mercy of the council. This is my fault. Mm-hmm. And Master Indara, for right or wrong, wrong, I can't figure out yet, goes, the fuck do you mean? Mm-hmm. You just had us wipe out this girl's entire way Family. of being. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You need to now fucking buck up and be a goddamn parent and make sure she's going to be okay. Yeah. This is now on you. This is not going to end well. Yeah. Like instead of throwing yourself at the mercy of the council. And then like this girl has no family. No, yeah. No living relatives. She's not going to be allowed to become a Jedi. Um, you're the one that wanted this. That, that You're the one that made this happen. You need to step up now. Yes. Yeah. And it's like, okay, this is. The, it's wrong. And like, what are we going to tell them? And then what, where I am, a, where I'm angry with Indara is that like, oh, May started the fire. Like we're, we're laying this at, uh, all at the feet of the presumed dead sibling. And it's tidy. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's it's tidy. It's wrong. It's not inaccurate. It is wrong. Um, Like this, this all started a couple other ways and just got worse, which here when people go like, yeah. oh no, here's, here's when police react to a situation poorly. Yeah. This is what you get. Yep. Road to hell is paved with good intentions. And it's like, okay, and... Mm. Y- and yeah. just being reactive and intolerant and fearful. Yes. People die. Um, And that leads us to the final episode, The Acolyte. Um, which is... We... The, the last two episodes, the last episode especially, took the show from being, to me, like this abysmal yeah barely tolerable the right i was so angry with the writing multiple times yeah just the way like we quickly write like wait what the fuck was that we need to spend time here and 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 talk about this more and flesh it out and understand the magnitude and the consequence and instead it's like like we're gonna move past like don't don't just move past that like you didn't say what you just said like like kevin hart like you you and instead like we're just we're gonna say things in passing we're not going to explain them we're gonna like give you whiplash from wondering what the fuck why 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 and it wasn't like an act one you'll see an act three thing it was just yeah. here are all these things that like and may again maybe maybe if i had read the high republic books i would have i would be i'd be more informed going in and i wouldn't feel such like whiplash i'm like wait but what was that and why are we doing this and i don't understand and what do you mean by and there there were just so many instances during the show where it was it was difficult to watch and instead of it being eight episodes i would have appreciated like 18 episodes yeah i continue i'm sorry uh, i like that this episode starts because the the other episode happened like soul has been explaining all this to may of like how things went down um and this episode starts with osha having the helmet put on and she starts almost doing what her mother mother anasea was doing like you watch uh she puts it on uh Kamir's like oh i see what's happening 
and then she kind of like violently starts to like almost convulse she's having a panic attack almost that's how i thought it was i thought it was what do you think it was i think it was like literally because she she opened herself up to the force she opened herself up purely to the force Mm -hmm. the jedi are so controlled Mm -hmm. but i think it's the whole point is like she and she and may and it gets revealed they are the same person split into two beings in this episode and that's why they say they're like born uh created as one born as two uh i always one before there's two two. i give you me you give me you Mm -hmm. and it's like okay you're the same person so when they did the thing to may conversely i'm guessing osha has it too because yeah. there were points in the show where you're like, how does she have this? And I'm like, I think it's going to be the diode thing of like, mm-hmm. the one's been training, so the other mm-hmm. one just gets all the residual benefit. Yeah. Um, And you watch Kamir's eyes go black. And it's like, oh, I'm betting when she put this on and it was a pure deprivation and it kind of happened. Mm-hmm. It's not just like, because the Jedi are like, okay, close your eyes and just feel... This was, you physically can't do anything now. Everything is actually cut off from you. And her body goes, I am still a witch. And she kind of like feels with all of her power, Mm. not just Mm -hmm. here's what the Jedi Jedi teach you. Mm -hmm. Um, Gets the helmet off and they're like, okay, we need to go find my sister Mm -hmm. and do this. Um, And he's like, well, my ship's the only ship. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's go to this other planet. Yeah, and back to Brendock we go. Back to Brendock. Um, and then May back and... Back to the scene of the crime. Yes, May and uh, Sol are also going back to Brendock to figure it all out, to find this convergence. And I did like the chase through the, the rings. I thought it was kind of cool. I know you were very meh towards it. Um, and then we got the greatest reveal ever, spouse. Have I ever told you the story of Darth Plagueis the one? Yeah, so as Kamir and Osha are in the ship, like, departing to go back to Brendok, we see this, like, figure emerge, like, kind of, like, peek out from the cave where Kamir's, like, home layer is, for lack of better phrasing. Yeah. Um, he's got a dark hood and, like, human humanoid something and i'm like who dat <laughs> and um it has been later confirmed to be uh darth Plagueis cameo i'm, I'm so I, I rolled my r so i rolled my eyes so hard. you rolled your r you learned how to roll your r's i can't roll my r's <laughs> i so bad rolled my eyes i so saw because i was because you, you you sat there we were watching this episode like, you were like do that? i know who that is and i'm like yes you know who that is and you were like oh is that a sith like the race and I was, I was like, I was like, what, what do you mean? Like, where he said he was a, oh, I was so proud of you because I was like, that's a, that's a pull. I was not expecting you to go for. Um, I was thinking really hard. And then I was like, nope, that's that is Darth Plagueis the Wise, um, which yeah, everyone wow. kind of assumed is what it was going to lead to. Well, I'm glad some, but everyone else already figured out. Um, that's the, yeah, that's kind of the point of the High Republic is yeah. how do we get to the Republic as we know it, mm-hmm. um, and it's this. It kind of, and once again, Palpatine returned some, I but know, I, but I fucking hate he, it. okay. He, he, I'm tired. I'm so tired of the Skywalkers and the Palpatines. It's yeah. so, it's so tired. And that's the, they're, they're so trying tiring. to now figure out much like they did for the Clone Wars to make it better was we created a show to show you from two to three. I get, I get it. It just feels like this is being executed. More poorly. I don't even care about the execution. I'm tired. I'm tired. Tired of. I'm tired of Palpatines and Skywalkers. <laughs> I'm tired of them. No more, please. No more, please. We're we're gonna get you into the Darth Revens next. That's what you need to get into. I don't know if that's what I'm missing, but let's carry on with um with the plot. And the well, Darth Revan plot's better. Uh <laughs> sorry. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to like make a joke for this plot. Um. So we get to we get to Brendock. Everyone's there. Osha's like, "Hey, the thing's broken. The elevator's broken to get in because May and Sol are already there." Um, Master Vernestra. Ven- Vernestra, yeah, Vernestra, Vernestra. 
is is like bringing her own people there. Um, oh wait, she gets uh has to go into a meeting with a senator, mm-hmm. and the senator's like, "Hey, I want to do an internal investigation mm-hmm. in you guys mm-hmm. because this is wrong. You guys like people these- are dying and it's not being accurately reported, represented, and I think you guys could use some oversight." And but what I loved about it was. In in the Kotor games, it's like, well, you're you're assholes with laser swords and, and magic. Mm-hmm. And this he goes, no, you guys are the problem because you're like so detached from emotion that it's not healthy or right. Mm-hmm. And you guys think you're these detached, but what happens when one of you guys finally fucking snaps? And that's going to be the problem: is you have all this unchecked power and none of us understand it. And it was it, in one sentence he dismantled the entirety of the Jedi Order of you're not good guys. Mm -hmm. This is a problem and none of y'all see it. Yeah, you need some fucking oversight. Mm -hmm. And Vanessa's like, "Uh, yeah, we're going to deal with this when we get back. We need to go catch him. We're close to apprehending him. Mm -hmm. Uh, This is the end of my press conference. I'll ask you, I'll answer questions after I have time to prepare statements. Yep. And fucks off. Mm -hmm. Goes to, uh, goes to, what the hell's the planet? Brendock. Brendock. And they go there to get to the, the castle um, where we see the fight between Soul and the Stranger. Mm-hmm. Um, Soul beats him, mm-hmm. and I was, I was impressed by that because every other night it felt like they brought in kind of went down easily. <clears throat> yeah, Jackie put up more of a fight. Jackie put up more of a fight mm-hmm. than all the other nights, and Soul does beat him and disarm him, and then Soul is forced to confess. At the same time, that fight's going on. We're getting the May Osha fight. Where you were like, oh, so you've been cut off and just fucking fixing ships for like 15 years, yeah. 10 years, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, how do you know how to fight like this? Yeah. And May is like, and you're like, well, May makes sense. Why are you beating the pants off of her? And that's where I said, well, if it's a virgin to the force, mm-hmm. I'm betting like Individuals. transitive property because mm-hmm. I can throw a punch, you can throw a punch. Um, and here we get to see Osha hear from Soul. Yeah. May sets Soul up. He- Soul has his back to Osha and May is like, yeah, and you killed our, and that's why you killed our mother? And he's like, yes. That is. Yeah. And so Osha gets to hear it from Soul's mouth. Mm-hmm. And Soul doesn't realize that he's con- he's confessed. Yes. Uh, he turns around and we get to see we get to see the bleeding of a crystal. Yeah. And I know you hate that term. Um, yeah, crystals don't bleed, and I, I just I'm like, I would prefer. Can we just call it like the corruption of a crystal? I'm like, it, it really is a phrasing. I'm like, crystals don't bleed. I corruption just sounds so mundane and pedantic. Bleeding feels melodramatic. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's, it's the, I don't like melodrama. Uh, that's that's <laughs> fair. Um, I so when you saw the crystal start to bleed, it almost looked like the Venom symbiote in red coming around it. I and I thought that was a really cool, like... I wasn't mad at the depiction. Like, because you, you can see that I'm going to stick with corruption. Yep. Um, you can you can see the corruption happening in real time. It's like, oh, we were good, now we're a weapon of evil. And the the point of the point I'm making and why I don't want to, like, say corruption is because Osho wasn't evil here. Like, this is the, the healthiest, like, I now get to process... It okay, was conflict. She's gonna... She was she was feeling conflict. Yes. Yeah. I love when she ignited the lightsaber and it kind of like it came out blue. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, then it goes up, comes down, and then it like cinches to red. Yeah. And she kind of does your aneurysm, like chokes him out. Yeah. And kills him. Yeah. And she just chokes him out. There's no aneurysm, but yeah. Yeah, but chokes like, him out. Kills him. Yep. Um force choke. And Rip. we yeah, we get to see like Kamira awkwardly tries to comfort her. Yeah, and she's like, yeah, don't do this. And he goes, okay, well, we all should probably leave. We should go now. And every He's not wearing the helmet. Yes. And Renestra senses him. And he senses her sensing him. And he like, he hides. He hides and throws on the helmet. Can't fucking figure out how to sense a fucking forest full of things, though. Yeah, and Renestra's like, you're alive. Like, he's alive. Yeah. I was like, interesting. Interesting. I'm like, consequences of your own actions. Um... And they, of course, May and Osha run to the tree. The mm-hmm. the ginkgo. Mm-hmm. I'm going to call it a ginkgo weeping willow because kind of what it makes me think of spirit tree. Yep, spirit tree. And uh, the Kamir 
finds them and goes, hey, if I can find you, they can find you. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like at one point when they go on this trek, just to jump back to this, Osha looks at Kamir and goes, we're going to make a deal because you're an honorable person. He goes, what makes you think that? And she's like, because you made a deal with my sister and you honored it and then gave her a chance when she said she wasn't going to do it to still honor the deal before you took action. And it was one of those things I'm like, OK, like he, his his rules aren't the same rules as everybody else, but he at least adheres to the rules that are set up, whereas you don't get that with the Jedi. Um, and then Kamir goes, hey, what I can do is I can make her forget who she is. And yeah, forget, the Jedi will forget, find her. Forget you. Yeah, but it, we're gonna wipe her memory for. And she'll know her own name, maybe. Yeah, and honestly, <laughs> and, and how to speak? Probably the kindest thing he could think to do. Mm. As much protection to him as for Osha and May, because uh, like they'll capture her, but they're gonna probe her mind, and they won't find anything. Yeah. Um, and they do. They capture her, and she's like, "Yeah, what? What do you guys? What do you guys need from me?" Yeah, and you said that I killed somebody. I killed, I, killed, I killed people. Yeah, and she's like, I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember that. Do, doing that. I don't know nothing about that. And mm -hmm. they, you know, uh, Osha and Kamir leave. Uh, May goes back with Vernestra. So I'm kind of waiting for the like May the Padawan to Vernestra. Maybe. Um, it's because she, she's like, I'm gonna need you to do one more thing for me, so you know mm -hmm. it's gonna be season two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and Kamir gets his acolyte, gets his apprentice, mm -hmm. who fulfills the final task of kill a Jedi without touching them. Mm -hmm. um, with, without using a weapon. And I like the idea that it's like, okay, it is use the Force to beat a Jedi. Mm -hmm. Be stronger to a Jedi in the Force. Um, which, which was like, that ending was the strongest part. Um, Vernestra then going forth to the, to the senators going like, a rogue Jedi named Soul, and she even apologizes to him, like, "Hey, I've got to do this to like cover this." Uh, there was trying an, to save my own ass over here. There was an incident that happened. Uh, he went back, killed everyone else who was there to try to cover up the incident after new evidence had come to light. And this is what we've done. We we, yeah. we put it away. Yeah. But don't worry, it's all fixed now. Yeah, and then of course the the very very end we get the. Master, I need to talk to you when we get to go to his ears. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Ver Vernestra going up to Yoda. To Yoda. The series has flaws. It, yeah, it, everything in Star Wars has had a flaw. I yeah. mean, yeah. <laughs> That's the only consistent thing in Star Wars is that somebody, somebody always has something to say. When they started getting to the different ideologies of teaching, mm -hmm. I thought it was great. I, I I want that for the next season. I want to see what other non Jedi teachings are. Mm -hmm. I want the Jedi to go like, hey, anyone who's not one of us is just a Sith. Like any Force practitioner not Jedi trained equals Sith. Maybe not that harsh, but also yeah, it, not allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah not sanctioned. Therefore forbidden, therefore worthy of prejudice and um I was like extreme elimination. Yeah. 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 Um, but I also now I wanna see I wanna see Kamir teaching Osha. Because mm -hmm. we've seen I we have seen the Jedi train a thousand times. Yeah. And we like watched their like flirty seduction with the dark side stuff. I'm like, okay. But but I'm very curious to see how things develop between Osha and Kamir. And I I want it to not just be like anger, hatred. Mm -hmm. I want it to be like compassion, lust. I like give me. You're the saying full compassion. I'm like I think passion. But give, but give me the full spectrum because yeah, I could see Osha seeing a child and being like, "They're going to do something to that child. I'm not going to let that happen." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to protect this child the way no one was able to protect me. Oh, yeah, whip out that red lightsaber and then beat the shit out of some mm -hmm. like Jedi that it might be wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see both sides of that because I hope we get to see that. Yeah, the the Sith aren't the Sith aren't inherently evil; they just practiced different. Yes. Um. But yeah, like it, at the end, I I think the series has something to say. I think it had some really unique ideas mm -hmm. that they just kind of 
didn't tell well. Yeah, and maybe that'll go for the second season, but I also feel that... If they keep it to like an eight-episode kind of cadence, I don't know if we're really going to... If Darth Plagueis is bigger in it, yeah. I think it's going to be like a dissertation, and he's going to explain it kind of... Yeah, and it's just going to be like, oh, we're going to end that second season with like meeting young Palpatine. Yeah. And it's just going to feel like moot. This was all just a telling of how we get to Plagueis, how we get to Palpatine, which is all just a, a telling of Palpatines and Skywalkers, and like I'm, yeah. I'm tired. I'm tired as I say it. When and <clears throat> when they say it's only a hundred years before, mm-hmm. like Episode One, mm-hmm. we might not, we might still be early enough to where we don't find Palpatine. Yeah, but I could see like a child mm-hmm. that's Palpatine, mm-hmm. or he's a Palpatine, like, mm-hmm. and that'll be yeah, like the throwaway okay. line. Like, All right, thanks for literally spelling it out for me. Dude. But I. I I want you to see the rule of two mm-hmm. and kind of I. The book of the Sith, the book of the Jedi are both interesting books to read mm-hmm. um, and just seeing the the different ideas mm-hmm. of the two tutelages. I enjoy. Different philosophies. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have anything else you want to leave on? I think the cast did a really great job. I enjoyed their performances. Um, I love again, say it for a third time. I love the choreography. Mm hmm. I appreciate the again the passion that the cast brought like the actor who played Saul like learned English in like three fucking months to because he liked Qui-Gon he yeah. wanted to play a and, Qui-Gon-esque character and like that's, that's amazing yes like, yeah blows my mind did did a phenomenal job um the actor who like played May and Osha you know you know she's, like, she's working super fucking hard playing like two roles Mm -hmm. i think she did a great job come here like fucking i'm sure he's tired from carrying the show (laughs) um i appreciate that indara was more nuanced um lee jung jay was master soul okay manny jacinto Uh was the stranger uh defane keen was jackie yep um you know what charlie barnett as Yord, God, I fucking hated your character. Damn, did you do a good job of making me fucking job. want to punch in the face. Yeah, I'm like, you, yeah. Um, I don't like Vernestra, and I hope she gets her comeuppance. Uh, and then we've got Amidala Stenberg, who is May. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I want to look up and see if she did the violin parts. Oh, yeah. I'm sure she, I'm sure she did at least some of them, because she is... An tr- accomplished... Yeah, she a violinist, yeah. Yeah, I was like, violin, I was like... Yeah. Chalice, and she also true. she also uh played Rue in the Hunger Games. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. I've never seen those. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> like, cool. For, <laughs> Congratulations. For, for everyone else who has. I didn't say it for you, I said it for everyone listening. No, I appreciate that. But yeah, I Yeah, I I hope we can just flesh out the writing. Like that 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 is my critique of just like what what is this whiplash where we're gonna say things and we're gonna do like these weird skips. And please, please show and don't tell. Those are that, those are my criticisms. Um, but I appreciated this presentation of Star Wars and the Star Wars universe. I would say for somebody who's like, hey, I watched the original movies mm-hmm. um, and I want kind of more Jedi. Mm-hmm. If, if you want a different take, you know what? It brings in enough nuances, but you need to be able to put down your disposition of like the Jedi... Like it, it's not, it's not about good and evil. It's mm-hmm. about who has power and who doesn't. Mm-hmm. Well said, Jamie. Well said. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Check us out over on Twitch. We are just four subs away from uh, 500 over on the YouTube channel. So if you guys really like this, please hit a like button. Give us a five star rating on all your podcast platforms of choice. And go ahead and uh, hit subscribe over on YouTube. Remember, you're all winners out there. Keep it weird. Have a fantastic rest of your day, everybody. Thanks for listening, guys. See you next time.